<laughs> Middle name riding. And we're live. <laughs> Yay. Get it? Yeah. Bad joke. He, he, he starts the stream and then he dips for like two seconds. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing I'm an expert streamer, right? Yeah. <laughs> 500 videos. Big deal. I don't make mistakes. <laughs> I'll start a stream before I even I'm even ready. I don't need a phone <laughs> handy. Did I even put a right title on it? I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> you just put new bricks this week, April third, twenty twenty one, with people chat with friends. Good enough. Oh look at that! We got someone in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Oh first. <laughs> Here I go. No, actually, I'm not going to type first and all because then it does all kinds of weird stuff. <laughs> From now on, I'll just do it to YouTube and nowhere else. Jacob, <laughs> quit spamming the chat, please. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're going to spam, do it right. Put it in some groups. Right. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Copy. Well, they can see you. Hello. Discord. He's invisible. Invisible. Oh, T, T Mog beat me up. He's already got his first <laughs> share up. He's got this down. For me, it's just open up the thing, paste. Open up the thing, paste. It's <laughs> done. He's probably logging into Twitch now to get that one too. Well, now you've got me going. See how fast it'll take me to log into Twitch. <laughs> well, that'll be okay. And. Does that mean it's on YouTube? And you can yeah, share it to Tyler yeah. or to whoever you think. Yeah, they just... Oh, the, the link? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, Mr. Blue. How's it going? Good evening, Mr. Blue. Oh, I don't... Okay, oh. Tyler. Tyler, you want a link? 20-year-old Rick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, yeah, know, I don't even know what you're saying. I'm just sending Time, it to you. <laughs> And it's funny, too, because what were we watching today? Bill and Ted's um, The Third Movie. I'll tell you, man, I fell asleep during it. It was so bad. It's such a bad movie. But, you know, go watch the first one, maybe the second one. I can't recommend that third movie. But, yeah, that's I'm time traveling, Rick. This is, this is the, uh, right here. The, the first two Bill and Ted movies, like, you can't find them in the streaming services. Kind of sucks. Really? I yeah, I, I wonder who. I'm the same. Them. I wanted to rewatch the first two before I watched the new one. But... That's yeah, that's odd. It might be an ownership problem. Hey, Corey. Well, that's usually what it is. Oh, I know, eh? Well, and, and all my gray was here. So just, you know, when I shave the sides, <laughs> that's one thing. And then when I shave the snow white off the face, it's like, yeah. Imagine when I try and cross the border, cause my, I never look like my license ever. <laughs> <laughs> and in the age of COVID, it's much better now because no one wants you to drop your mask. Like, no, no, sir, stay away. <laughs> Keep your mask oh, on. Yeah, you're fine. You're good. You're hideous. Hide that, please, sir. But, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I know a few other places I could put this. But everyone doing good today? Yeah, it's saved today. Went pretty good. So, has everyone got something or just me? Uh, I technically have something. Technically. Yeah, <laughs> technically. Well, I'm building somebody. Six two zero six. You'll see in a minute, Tyler. You'll see in a minute. <laughs> I'll show it off in a minute when it's my turn. <laughs> when it's my turn. When it's my turn. <laughs> Here, let's. This is a good group. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna write a script that does that for me because that's a pain in the butt every time I want to share and I gotta connect to a bunch of different groups. All right, let's see. I got way too many windows open. Um, let's 
remove this one. That's probably a little better. Why not? So, I'm going to show off three things. Oh. I'll do oldest first, but the thing is, this is kind of a cheat because this first one's not Lego, but it's part of the whole Lego crap thing. So, yeah. We picked this up the other day. This was to improve my light setup, so I'll show you. And I got two of these plus the lights, like the, uh, the wiring. Not bad. And this is actually, I guess, technically the brand. Only 45 watts. I got two of these. I got them up behind me now. And sure enough, why did I take that one off stream? Because if I do this and show that. So, God bless China, right? So, <laughs> cheap, cheap there. Very nice. Not bad. And they don't throw off too much heat. And that's what... There, it's that one up there. And that one up there. Oh, yeah. So, pretty good. They're working out good. Um, I trust them now. Because, you, you know, you worry about anything that's cheap, cheap Chinese, right? Mm hmm I mean, that's the thing. Amazon's the new Walmart when it comes to cheap stuff. It's funny, you know. You got Walmart, and then you got Amazon. <laughs> and then you got... Um, uh, AliExpress somewhere kind of below that but yeah so I got those so it was pretty cool I'm really happy with how those are working out I can pitch those in the garbage now nice and not even gonna be worth returning them then let's see for some actual bricks I'll open up this and then I'll trade off to you guys and then we'll come we'll check out what I got at the end okay and the other let's see Oh, this game is so hard. Yeah. Can you play it? It's actually been here for a little bit, so let's see. Oh, yeah, sorry, this is the FedEx package I picked up the other night. Oh, sweet. Yeah. No, it's only half sweet. Because <laughs> you kind of figured out something the other night. So. Hey, Mama Lego, did you change your profile picture? Where, where, where? Hasn't it? It's been that for a little bit, hasn't it? I don't know. I didn't notice anything. Like I, so, I wasn't reading the chats for the streams I was in today. So, I'm trying to think. Of, what was the original order? Oh, this won't say. Okay, so um, this would be okay. not the April first. Okay. Previous previous week, you know, helmet helmet wave that kind of order stuff. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> ordered this because A wanted it and B wanted to guarantee the gift with purchase because I had actually ordered the um, droid. Oh. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Still waiting on that shenanigans. But by getting this, I was guaranteed this. Yeah. So that's cool. That's that box. Sweet. So, and we intend to get all these. We love these brick heads. Um, and this is definitely, I think, one of the nicer ones. Mm -hmm. I got convinced the wife to get Goofy. <laughs> she wants that. But I mean, I had ever, this was actually in the wish list. So the fact that she wanted it made it gravy, and that made sure I got this no matter what might happen with the other order. So. Nice. Strategy, right? I'm always, we're always making sure that I don't get screwed out of stuff. So I'll pull that back and then I'll remove that. So who wants to go next? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh man. Um, Do you got one thing built... or more than one thing or? I got like three things. Three things. I built this on the weekend along with that poly bag that I don't care of showing off. <laughs> <laughs> and I've already integrated this into my little corner Lego town. So uh, Instagram post coming tomorrow regarding that. 
Um, for those of you who saw my vlog that I posted today, I pulled the trigger on a non-brick, uh -huh. not Lego themed set. Yeah, I seem to have uh, taken some heat for this purchase. Yeah, yeah, yeah you definitely were a big part of me. I don't know if I can look at you now because I'm a Lego purist, as everyone knows. I never. <laughs> How could you? All Lego counts. <laughs> Only, Only Lego, Lego counts. counts. Only yeah. Lego counts. <laughs> And then, That's what I should have done for April Fools. I should have changed the name. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, because Tyler was asking, um, normally some of you know, I guess, uh, for the transatlantic stream, Ooh, I got the Batmobile. Wow. That so big. That's how much I built. This is up to bag 14 of 24 in about oh, wow. six hours. You really pounded a lot of that out. Holy I man. You, well, he was on both streams, I think, from beginning to end of both. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, I was waiting for him to come up for air. It's like, you got to take a break. Nope. Nope. <laughs> and the one stream started right after the other? Yeah. I'm nope, surprised no they didn't space it out for an hour. But mm -mm. But I'm liking the build. It's amazing. It's definitely probably going to take the Bounty's number three favorite set spot. So that's more or less what I got. <laughs> nice. Anything this week, Ryan? Or are you giving away that kid in the raffle? You got one thing. Oh, hang on. There we go. <laughs> nice. Wait, wait a second. That's a Turtles. That's that's rock steady. That's yeah. rock steady from the turtles. The Ninja Turtles also in my room. Yeah. That is so cool. That was our. That's what we. So that's what fifty dollars of tokens got us. Oh, Not in goodness. another stuffed animal. <laughs> oh, that man, that reminds me of being at the C and E and. You know, either playing the dark game or the bottle game or something and walking away with the little toy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's like 30 bucks later. And then, and of course, finding out that, oh, you can buy X for this much, you know, if you talk to the guy yeah. behind the booth. <laughs> well, funny story. Like we were, we were playing. And actually, I got a, I got a work call. So I had to go and sit in a bench. I was talking. And these guys were playing. And, uh, the one game, the there's a fishing game. You hit a button and it's uh, it sends a hook in. You guys got a reel thing. You turn, you reel the hook, the line, and it keeps pulling fish out. And you get you get tickets for whatever certain fish give you more tickets. Okay. But anyway, the the game was glitching and it shut off, and then it started emptying the machine on tickets. They just started spitting tickets out. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are sitting there. Kind of like holy crap, Chantel was my wife was sitting there, and uh, after like a minute, just over a minute, she's like, "Okay, well, she she feeling bad." So she goes and she had to walk around to find somebody who worked there. They come over and they got it fixed and shut it shut it off. And uh, he's like, "Yeah, don't worry about it. Whatever tickets it printed out, you can keep them. Whatever." Nice. So. <laughs> a lot of tickets. It was a lot of tickets. A lot of birthdays this month. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So Corey's busy tomorrow then. Wait a second. And he's still Oh, birthday to tomorrow. Yeah, it's birthday today tomorrow. for us. Don't you have to do across the pond tomorrow, Corey? Pretty sure he's um, gonna delay it. Yeah. Yes. Hundred dollars, yeah. Well we spent fifty, that was plenty. <clears throat> still that stuff's fun i tell you i can't wait till that stuff opens up and i'm pretty sure we won't have a C and E this year again last year was the first time in like 100 years or something it's, we didn't have a canadian national exhibition in toronto mm -hmm. and i'm so sure it ain't happening again this year well it's been well over at like uh the royal manitoba winter fair that's usually it would have been on this week actually and uh they canceled last year, canceled again this year, but it ran for a hundred and oh god, it was over a hundred years, anyways, consecutively. 
Yeah. In March, when there's a March break, we always have a lot of great shows for the one week all the kids are off. And of course, you know, that's two years in a row, no March break. Yeah. Uh, uh, festivities or anything. And they actually delayed our March break. They said, oh, we'll do it. And they pushed it back. And of course, what did they do? They closed us all down as of 1201 this morning. So nothing. Yeah. <laughs> nothing going on in toronto yeah. so a delayed break and then nothing to do on the break thank you government yeah. of the world yay. yay nothing to do with our kids <laughs> um yeah that's pretty cool though now you gotta try and you i mean you know what the hardest part with those toys is you keep, it's impossible to keep them clean oh yeah and you're afraid to wash them too because you're afraid they're gonna yeah you know yeah, because they're not overly thick. <laughs> they're pretty thin no. material. <laughs> this one's my, already like. And my daughter weird. loved all the ones that she used to have. She still got most of them. She, honestly, she's got them in her bed. Her bed is like a mountain of those things. Do you remember the uh, WWF wrestler ones? Oh, my goodness. If you have them, keep them. Because I know, they I wish... are worth. I always wanted one. I know a buddy of mine had uh, the Ultimate Warrior one. I was so jealous. I wanted it so bad. Oh, Corey's got something cool coming. The Sith Mosaic. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. Are, they haven't come on sale anywhere, have they? Not a real sale. There was a, um, a two-day blitz on like chapters, and they had. And I haven't seen another credible one. There was like a six hours on... Amazon, but by the time my little thing let me know, it was already gone. Yeah. Um, I'm waiting for at least 20%. I would like to get one. I'd love to get three and do the, the ultimate thing. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I, I don't know if I want to spend a hundred That's a lot bucks. to make that big picture. I tell you, it really is. Yes. Ryan, you could do a stream of it. <laughs> What's that? Start farming those watch time. Do a stream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I tell you, honestly, I think if anyone really wanted to buy three, I would almost tell them, go buy the Chinese ones. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because <laughs> you could pretty, pretty much get all three for the price of one. Uh, not that I encourage that kind of stuff, but that's a lot of money <laughs> to spend on just little round studs. Oh, I know, way. Eh? Like six bags uh, per set or whatever it is for the different colors. Like, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, and then you don't use them all. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm going to see like, just how many nice mocks over. we get from people who are creative with the leftovers. Actually, someone did a nice one where they took um, one set. It looks like they just used one set. And they did um, basically kind of like a, a three shot. Kind of like this with a different Sith. So you got, you know, like Vader in the center, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then you got Maul and then you got Kylo Ren and they did it all on just one square. And it's like, that is so cool. You got the art for all three kind of. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that was truly done with just the pieces from one set or if they were just creative with multiple sets. I don't know, but mm -hmm. All right, I want to show off the other one. Let's see. Move that around, move that around. By the way, I got no room on the desk because I still haven't put sets back up above from playing with the mm -hmm. lights. And literally 10 minutes before I had my daughter help me, I went under the desk and I said, tell me what lights are still on. I permanently disabled the two that are flutter. And then when I plugged in, I forgot that I can't run some of these lights on the little, little Apple adapters. They don't produce enough power that's one of the problems with these leds they they can actually draw a lot of power not compared to a regular light bulb but they can still pull too much for a little apple adapter and it's like sure enough before we went live it's like it was starting to flutter and i had to get under the desk it's like damn which one do i plug them into i had to swap it out all righty so we started slumming it today oh uh -huh. And my wife went to the Lego store, put, put it on my VIP. Fun. And finally. <gasps> yes. I've no. been wanting that one for a while. Yes, so have we. I mean, we want all the flowers. We love all this okay. stuff that Lego's trying out. And this is definitely 
top of the line as far as I'm concerned. I mean, it looks great. 36 centimeters tall when built. We'll probably buy some sort of glass um, hurricane or vase or something for it when it's done. Assuming we really like it. I think we will. I'm looking at it. It looks amazing. It's so weird to be, you know, a uh, 40 something adult and, you know, be looking at Lego. Yeah, I want the flowers. Yeah. <laughs> but they're nice. They're really nice. So I'm really happy. Because we already got the bonsai, we got the tulips, mm -hmm. got this. So now we got to get the, the roses, which, believe it or not, is the hottest set of the whole bunch. Valentine's last month de devastated the stock all around the planet for the roses. So, yeah, it was something. Yeah, I just realized I don't have a good view on this here. There we go. I still got too much light. See, you can't win. I keep buying lights and it's still too bright in here. <laughs> but yeah, we're really happy. Finally, because we've been stressing. I mean, this is what, January 1st when this came out? Yep. So that, this is literally how long. And with the allocations that were showing up at our local, local store, which I think were two or three master cases. I'm not sure how many is in a master carton for this. Maybe four sets. But it's like, yeah, it's, and that's per shipment. They were getting two shipments a week. And it's like, I just stopped chasing, you know. And then my wife was asking me, well, did you get the um, Winnie the Pooh? And I go, no, not yet. <laughs> it's still sold out. Because I generally only order online. It's like, yeah, it's still sold out. And we double checked our local store oh, stock. And it was out, so we didn't have her pick that up. I think it's still in stock at my local store. Oh, yeah? yeah. I mean, we'll wait it out. It isn't a big deal. Yeah. I'm actually hoping that it's available again around the 12th because now we're starting to hear we might have double VIP. I mean, if that's true, that's great. I know the Americans are. That was my understanding that the 12th to the 20th is going to be double VIP. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So if it is kicking in, then I'm going to try and get that then. Otherwise, there's no rush. Till the 20th. 12th to the on, 20th. That was my understanding. Surely they'll kick it in on the 1st of May, too, I would think. I don't think they've ever not done it for May the 4th weekend. Kind of. Okay, so then now my train of thought is TIE Fighter for double VIP plus Thor mech. And then for May, just get a Sith Art if I can. Then that raises another question that I had with the Batmobile. Where am I going to put it? <laughs> well, and I mean, you're not finished yet. It's only going to get heavier. <laughs> it's, it's not going to get much bigger, but now it's going to get heavier. Really? I was thinking it was going to get lighter. It's going to so. get lighter. Lego defies gravity, science, yeah. time and space. It's actually, it's not really a Batmobile. It's a TARDIS. It's actually a Doctor Who set you bought. So it's actually going to get, it's actually smaller on the, or bigger on the inside. I'm waiting for them to do a uh, UCS um, Doctor Who set. I'm such a big fan of that show. Either if it's the inside of the ship or just a telephone booth. I'm such a sucker for it. Give me a tall telephone booth. I'm sure there's fans who would dig that. Jacob's looking like, what's Doctor Who? Oh, I know what Doctor Who is. I oh, just, okay. <laughs> people keep telling me I should get into it because they know I like time travel stuff and that would be right up my alley. But I'm just like... I have to start at season one, and good luck finding season one is for me right now. Because like I, but here's the worst part: if you're a fan, it's impossible. It is impossible to, for you to watch every recorded episode. It is. They don't have it. Really, the, the BBC had a bad habit um, re-recording over tape. So there's plenty that's been lost in time, and they've been slowly picking up a few episodes from people who had reel to reel and other methods of copying the TV shows in the uh, 70s and stuff. But there's been, I think there's still eight episodes unaccounted for across all the history of Doctor Who. Wow. And then there's like one or two that are recovered that have damaged or buggered audio, and people just like kind of try to do stuff over it, but... Yeah. 
just deaf the voices studios, over it. <laughs> yeah, the studio does not have every episode. Um, but it's a fascinating series, especially when you figure the sh shoestring budgets they had for some of the episodes. Like, to see these people acting... I mean, when we think the original Star Trek series had no budget, no, they had a budget. Compared to Doctor Who, Doctor Who had no budget in some episodes. You can't believe how many episodes of Doctor Who were filled with him driving the car in the mountains of Ireland or Scotland or wherever they were shooting because mm -hmm. they had no money for sets. So they just had aerial footage of him driving around and talking with the girl at the time, whoever was a sidekick. And Yeah, they're not all winners, but it's fascinating science fiction stuff. And anytime you can get like the the Future Man or or the the um, the Daleks episodes, I mean, some of the garbage stuff, and then some of this the other stuff's amazing. But you got to be a you got to be a hardcore fan of science fiction to really love Doctor Who. They've had quite a few different actors play it too, haven't they? Well, that was the beauty of the show was when I think that you know when the first guy either bailed or wanted more money or whatever. And they swapped out the actors and they turned that into a part of the story. It's like, that was brilliant. Because if you're the producers of Doctor Who, you're not tied to the actors anymore. No actor can hold you up for ransom. I'm not going to show up on set. I'm not going to do the show this week. I want more money. Bye-bye. So, yeah. <laughs> Bring in the next doctor. And, that's, and, what, and when you had the fans accepting that that was a part of the Doctor Who mythos, it was brilliant. Because in any other show, it's very hard to accept you replacing the main actor, the main star of the show. But in Doctor Who, we actually expect it. And we worry, like, oh, how many seasons are they going to go? When they brought back Doctor Who in 2000-whatever, and they brought back, they brought that great actor who, who helped, uh, br you know, bring it to life. He only signed for 12 episodes. He had no intention of doing it more. He was a movie actor. He didn't want to get caught doing TV long term. He took the cash and ran. He had no interest in doing it for more than a year. But that was enough to get the water warm again and people interested. And that first season back was pretty amazing. Even if some people didn't like some of the high-tech effects and stuff, they spent a lot of money on it. But I'm glad it was brought back. I, I'm not going to comment on the Lady Doctor. I have still yet to watch anything okay. from the Lady Doctor on. Now you're locking in a mouth. like, where's my mummy? But uh, it's fascinating stuff. And here's the thing. You've also got books and you got comics. And I recommend, <sighs> yeah, novels. Plenty of great novelizations. That probably, honestly, are going to be better than the TV shows. Oh, at, least on, at least until the reboot in the 2000s. I would guess that the books are probably even better than the TV shows were. I mean, you're going to have to be a fan and be accepting of what was okay in black and white days. Because there was some black and white Doctor Who um yeah you're it, which can be very hard for someone to watch now because it doesn't hold up visually whereas if you read the novels the novels will hold up pretty much any time you read them but fascinating show and then if you like science fiction that's kind of different and out there um there was a show oh, i want to say it's called 1999 about moon, moon base Al oh moon base alpha filmed by the bbc had one american actor which was a requirement because it was the americans financing it and they said well we want one guy in that show you can fill the rest of the cast with uk actors we want one and they put martin landau in it great show um again limited budget but they were trying to be you know that Star Trek kind of thing. They wanted to to be out there. And uh, some good good science fiction for what it was. You'll recognize, I think, the ships in it as soon as you see it. Because even if you weren't a fan of the show or knew of the show, it's been bounced around enough in Lego and other model kits and stuff. And, and plus, science fiction models are carried over into other shows all the time. You just don't know it sometimes. They're background ships or they take oh, yeah. some pieces of stuff. Well, wasn't the Millennium Falcon in the um, Star Trek thing, the new Star Trek movies? It's there's bits and pieces of it, but the you know the new Star Trek movie was all CG. Yeah. But in the days of models and models being used on screen, that when you had kit bashing where they took bits and pieces of actual models, 
you will see how stuff was used. And the Falcon is all kit bashed from, you know, battleships and aircraft and other science fiction models and stuff. Because anyone who knows their models will see bits and pieces in the Griebling that, oh, yeah, they stole that from this. And really cool stuff like that. But yeah, Moonbase Alpha, I think there's two seasons of it. I don't know where you'll watch it. Um, search for it and then let me know because I would probably like to watch it again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know Netflix had it for a little while. But um, yeah, that was, I mean, Martin Landau was a pretty good actor at the time. Some of the visual effects were like so cheesy. There's a lady who, it's probably the second season where she transforms into a cat. Or maybe into many animals, but at least into the cacks. That's what I remember. And when you see what they do with the transformation and the makeup, it's like you just go, oh, it's so bad. <laughs> but that was TV shows, right? You got a budget. They couldn't blow the whole budget on one gimmick. And when you have 22 or 24 or 26 episodes. And some of the stuff at that time, they had more episodes in a season than they do now. Mm hmm for syndication, you need now, you're supposed to have 22 plus episodes. But back then, a lot of you, they had different numbers, different rules. TV was so different now, uh, then from now. I'm so we're, at... we're raffling off uh, Ryan's kid there. Oh, really? How much? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Do I hear five bucks? Five bucks. He's young, he's healthy. <laughs> Watch you two take this down. You want to buy him? You want to buy him? He'll be strong. Yeah, hey, he's country got a strong. Price. Country strong, right? That's just kind of like uh, you well, want to buy an eyebrow, you want to buy a kid. How much How much for his eyebrow? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, he's a, he just, his eyebrow just raises like, what? Yeah. Well, he's, doing, <laughs> he's protecting oh, the sure. eyebrow. You can't get the eyebrow, eyebrow now. Well, eyebrow the, here. the eyebrow is safe now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <clears throat> well, it's like when I went on was a Tyler stream last night, and I brought the shape. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and see, I'm willing to use it, no problem. You know, if I get out there next year, because it probably won't be this year, I'll bring the shaver with me. We'll just, we'll, I'll just chase your kids around with the shaver. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's weird friend from the internet's trying to shave me. <laughs> Mommy, stop him. <laughs> Look at Mama's comment. <laughs> uh, where, 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 where? Ah, nice. <laughs> so my kids. Last presentation. <laughs> really, Corey. Oh, <laughs> that reminds me. I still I gotta take that <laughs> off my. I gotta take that off my phone. I'm not even kidding. That is still <laughs> my phone. <laughs> Can I make that go away? Yeah. See, still on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they were talking about that in Tyler's stream last night. They're like, you got some guy to shave his eyebrow <laughs> for a hundred bucks. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I, I want to know how that even happened that snap Two would offer up a hundred bucks, Corey. Like how did that conversation start? Cause I thought I was the only one pushing for that. <laughs> And then I get a message saying, Corey's going to shave, or someone. I didn't even know who. I just, I actually thought that Jacob was telling me that Sands was doing it. No, I no. Was, it was, yeah, it was... You know, like, I, it's like I'm rushing back to see who's doing what. It's like, I'm not even involved here. Hold on. <laughs> and it's like, what? someone else has paid the money? Like, wait a second. This was my gimmick. <laughs> no, I, no. Had no, I had nothing to do with Snap 2 doing that, so... He, he, he stole my thunder. <laughs> so he basically raised the cash in secret and then just demanded it up front without any warning. Is that what he did? Uh, that's what Corey's making it sound like based on the comments I'm reading right now. Yeah, but this was public. 
you know, we, we did this live on stream when we had yeah. all these discussions. These weren't done offline or anything. So, I mean, P clearly Snap2 hears. By the way, Snap2's dropping lots of money. I can't remember whose stream he was on. He dropped yeah. two. Was, was that... Uh, I, was how long. I don't know where I was. Yeah. And I saw he just dropped 200 on another stream. It's like... I appreciate it. Good. Somebody can point him towards my channel whenever I'm streaming. Yeah. <laughs> it's a shoot. I got to set up some... Uh, I gotta set up some links there, even if it's the PayPal. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I didn't put him up to it, so he just he took the gimmick and ran, which is cool. Are you guys on a thing? Yes. It's I mean, the, thing. the goal was to get it done, and if I didn't have to pay, I guess that's a bonus. I can't complain because, you know. It's just a shame that Sands, you know, at the beginning of Hive Stream, uh, Friday night, I put it right out there right away to see if he was interested. I was like, well, you know, the crisis has passed and he's made whatever arrangements to get the new phone or he's already got it. So doesn't need my money now. I should have pushed harder a week ago. You guys could have been like eyebrow buddies or something. I mean, possibly, we could have, yeah. We could have put your pictures together. Have you seen this eyebrow or? You know, fine. <laughs> I mean, in the case of Corey, A, he's a good-looking guy, and B, he's got a cap. He can just, like, keep it down, you know? No one yeah. will even notice. I mean, I Welcome get the occasional K. sty, so it's like, when I get a sty, I just wear the hat a little lower, and no one even notices, you know? Is this Jay person new here? Where's Jay? Hang on, hang on. Yes. Hey, Jay. How you doing? Yeah, we've been on for a while, Jay. I guess maybe you didn't see the pop-up notice. But uh, so this is this is part. Let's see. My wife picked this up today, and this is stuff that's part of um, another order that I'm still waiting for Lego to ship. So oh, yeah. this was this was my guarantee of getting the gift with purchase. This is the silly game we play. Fortunately, we actually wanted this. This isn't okay, like me good. buying. This is not like me buying keychains. When you see a keychain, you pretty much know I threw something in to make something happen. Because yeah, I'd never want the keychains. Every keychain I own, my daughter's got. By the way, Corey, I'm curious. How long did it take you to build the Batmobile? Roughly, do you think? <laughs> kind of com trying to compare notes. That's all for build Let's size. See. Well, no, I'm not now, especially, you know, you got your cap on. and See, I, the only thing I would have done different than Snap 2 is, because this is what I said to uh, Sands a week ago, was it has to be a stick shaver. Not this electric shaver, and you leave that a little bit there. It's like, no, 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 no. I want it straight. I want it baby bottom smooth. Yeah, I don't want 5 o'clock shadow already. I want baby smooth. nine hours okay yeah it wow. took me six hours to get the bag 14 so it might be around the same build time for me as well i tell you you were a beast i mean i couldn't watch it all of course but it's like man you just kept plowing away at it i don't think i've seen anyone on either uh lbbs or hive streams do a large build and plow through so much of it <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if it's because you were focused or what, but it's like, wow. I was I was trying to be engaged in the chat, and, like in the conversation as much as I could, but you know I'm like socially awkward sometimes, so I just was like, okay, just shut up and build if I got nothing to say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so if that is sometimes hard to find a spot to get in edgewise. I mean, I think you're kind of fortunate that on both streams it wasn't always nine on the screen. And that kind of helped a little. So at times you could actually get a word in. Oh, yeah. Plus, I wasn't even reading the chat much because my computer was what I was using to have as a camera. And that was shoved right in the corner out of my eyes. Line yeah, of sight. The, the angle with a laptop can be brutal because usually the laptops don't give you good visibility if you're not right in front of it. I mean, if mm -hmm. it's off on an angle, it's very hard to see. 
I know with this one here that's closed, if I open up the screen, it's not the best. You know, actually a couple of weeks ago when I was using the one screen for the instructions, the online, it's like, oh, that was horrible. What a bad experience that was. I will avoid doing that again as much as possible. Do you have any plans to build your Batmobile, Rick? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to start it tonight. I don't know. That's a, I mean, especially watching you. It's like, that was brutal. <laughs> it's so big and so heavy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the worst part is I am now, I mean, okay. You guys, I don't know how much of this you can see, but it's like I brought down the Sesame Street set off the shelf to get it away from the lights while I was playing around. Garbage truck is back on the desk. Um, the brick heads are all over the place. I still got the Humvees sitting there under the monitor. It's like, oh, the Halo builds are still there. It's like, I've got to find some time to get some of this garbage off my desk. It's like, it's, it just never ends. Mm -hmm. Boo hoo, you get too many sets built. <laughs> That's literally me right now. I have a backlog of sets I have to review. So I'm like, okay, um, what do I want to review? Is it what I'm at? All right. Like right now. It's like I finally got the photography thing set up. Okay, get to it. Oh, now I got to move some Lego off the desk. Yeah, <laughs> I can't win, and I can and find the space to displace. I mean, I told my wife I got to get all the sets that are on the shelf off, so I can start putting boxes in a different way, so I can display them better, and then get these behind glass. And then break down older ones. That's got to be a goal. I got to start doing that. And some of Christmas needs to come down. If I can get, if it, in fact, if I can get Christmas taken down, that'll be, that'll free up something. And it just got too easy to put little ones up here because they just fit so perfectly. It's like, oh wow. Corey, how much for the Titan Mech? Wait, 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 it's wait, like wait, for, wait. for a raffle and what's oh, the max oh. if you do yeah how many tickets yeah i want to out game t-mug <laughs> <laughs> because i already have the new lloyd bike but if you if you throw me a deal for that titan mech for a raffle i might be tempted is this new or used i assume it's new because i'm assuming most of his stuff either got on sale or for a deal or something like that. I don't know. That's just me assuming. <laughs> but yeah, I already got the little bike. In fact, I'm just waiting for the darn stickers to come in. That's all. So. I've never seen that set that he was just holding. I think it's for the uh, That one's got my interest. It's on my back <laughs> burner for a wish list. But. I know those that Titan Mac. I think they were on uh, clearance at Walmart for like fifty bucks there a while back. There's a link, Corey, if you want it. And Jay, if you want, you can click on it too. Come on for a few minutes. Say hi. Because, like, if you do a raffle for the Titan Mac, I'm tempted. I am tempted. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Doc and a bunch of other people won't be happy, though, because <laughs> I said I'd take a break. But if you're coming out strong with Ninjago, I don't know. <laughs> See, it kind of sucks. I mean, you, you want to have as many people get in, but you want to. Oh, look at this. Oh. And Shazam. Good evening, sir. Hey, Corey. Here we go. <laughs> I'm just like sitting here listening. I'm like, hmm, I could probably get T Mog going with it. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, you're getting a hot bot there, don't you? Ninjago, all of a sudden, he's like, whoo, it's getting hot in his basement there. <laughs> it's oh, getting wow. hot in here. <laughs> oh, look at the balloons for tomorrow. This is this oh, one. Wow. Yeah, do, you have cat, do you have cats? No. <clears throat> oh, okay. Because if you have I cats, have those are not going to be there tomorrow. <laughs> Pop, pop, pop. Ooh, nice. Nice. I, uh, I should be. Oh. Who is that? Yeah. Oh, you brought me on this full screen. There's the snake. You can see his head, right? Yeah. 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 There's a snake in that tank. Yeah, he's, well. 
He's I'm waiting for him to get friend. out and then oh. Corey say, I'm missing oh. my gold studs for my build. Where's my studs? And wait no. three days for it to come out the other end of the snake. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't get out. So this raffle thing, like to make it worth it, right? You're 25 bucks to ship it. He doesn't get out. So, hey, Jay. Go ahead, Corey. You're losing 30% hey. on donations. Right. 30%. Hey, oh, we got who's got uh, Jay? Do you have uh, your setup on speaker right now? Because if you if yeah. you're listening on YouTube, you should turn down the YouTube because you're causing all the echoes to feedback through. Because if you there you go, there you go. Now you're a pro. I just thought. Nah. <laughs> I mean, we've all been through it now, so it's like, yeah, one okay, of the new so yeah. guys brought it. Like I was saying, you lose thirty percent to YouTube through donations. So out of a hundred bucks, you're getting seventy. Ouch. Then you're twenty-five to thirty bucks to ship it if it's in Canada. Yeah. So right there, if you factor that, and you got to go at least hundred and fifty tickets on a hundred dollar set to even break even. Wow. Right. So, but is a hundred and fifty tickets unfair to ask when really you got a chance to win a hundred dollar Lego set with five bucks or ten bucks? Really? Well, that's it, yeah. you know, or I could, you, you know, whatever. So what do you think the buy-in is? One dollar, five dollars? One dollar a ticket. One dollar ticket. Right. And then, like, I don't go with the, Jazz went with this max 10 tickets or max, I don't think, whatever, no max. If a guy wants to buy the set for all 150 tickets, why not? Yeah. <laughs> right? That's their prerogative. Because it's, either, it's either you allow people to buy as many as they want, or you say, well, we don't know when we're going to do draw. It's, we got to wait till we sell out. Yeah, no. Yeah. Um, no, no max. If a guy wants to put up fifty bucks, 70, like that's their prerogative, whatever, right? And then, uh, and then, yeah, just and like you're also providing a bit of a service because it's fun, it's entertaining, it's different. Well, I had a lot of fun. I didn't care. Right. I lost. I, I mean, I lost what fifteen bucks in two days or whatever. I didn't care. It was fun. But, but look at Tmog. Tmog spent forty and got seventy dollars for the. Yeah, I know. I bankrolled him on half that. He did pretty good. Shoot. Right? So Me it, and my wife were sitting here watching him, like, oh, you and him, you and him, you and him. And then I was out, like, no. <laughs> and then she started cheering for him. So, but like, it's fun. It's fun to throw five bucks in. And, like, I'm the same yeah. way. I would throw five bucks in to, like, have fun with it. See if your name comes up, right? Okay. So, so let me get this straight. You're thinking 150 tickets, a dollar a ticket, and no limit. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. It's a $100 set. So, there's sense in spending more than a hundred dollars like that's ridiculous the yeah tickets i mean there. like that kind of takes away the incentive to just somebody buy it out right like if you were doing a 50 dollars set for 50 tickets well somebody could just buy it out and kind of throw the game all off but if now, you Corey, you you that. can't hear it right now but see the gerbils are spinning in his head <laughs> and the little wheel is starting to need some grease because it's starting to have some friction burns on the inside of his ears. He's trying to figure out, okay, if I do 23, but if I carry the five, and depending on next week's this, and so, <laughs> so he's swinging the chicken over the head. He's trying to figure it out. He's working on the odds here. <laughs> is you can change it up to make it like, well, the first name that's drawn wins, or yeah. the last man standing wins. And for me, coming from, like, I'm a bit of a casino buff back in the day, like so I always like to figure out the odds and see what tables sit at. But for me, it would be better if you're last man standing to only buy one ticket or five. Yeah, tickets. this is what I told my wife. It's like right. I can't do any more of these five bucks in. It's like because I was watching. It's like that one little thing. Now I know you got out in the second or third spin the other day, but it was like, oh, well, ideally, <laughs> if I just have one. It's going around. The odds of me not getting hit for a long time are really good, and I could probably end up in the last five or six or seven spins. So, but if you're doing the first draw wins, then you're going to want a lot of names. You more. want you want a lot of that wheel. Yeah, so you can you can really flip the script on just changing how it's drawn. Yeah. I think it's a brilliant like idea. I talked to the Jazz about it like a month ago. I was like, I really want to do this, but I didn't know how to approach it. Right? Like and that day on, on Sunday building across the pond, I was sitting there twenty minutes before the stream and I looked over and saw my kids' chalkboard sitting there. And I was like, screw it. Nice. Let's just write it on here and see what happens. Right? And it kind of took off. But then we, we 
we refined it a little bit for Jazz's stream, and then so it just it requires some refining, right? Like I raffled off all those sets. I got them on clearance, and I still. Oh, I think I. Yeah. Like after no, I, I think you guys are on to something because you also, you know, especially when you do the last man standing, you're forcing us to watch and watch and watch to the end. Yeah. It's, like, it's brilliant. It's good. Three reaction videos were made from that raffle. Really? Like, wow. that's cool. The other YouTubes make videos of your stream, their reaction to your stream. Like, I haven't seen those, like, pop-ups. Yeah, that's that's right? kind of cool. What's that? So when are you planning on doing this raffle? I don't know. Huh? Do you get Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I left it in a truck. I'll go get it. Okay. Um, I I don't want to overdo it with the raffles, right? Like I don't want to just pound raffles, pound raffles. Like, and I only have so many things. So, um, and I also I want to promote them because I don't want people to just stream the raffle. I want to show up not knowing whether there's going to be losing. Well, uh, yeah. Welcome to using a cell phone. <laughs> Depending on where he is in his place, the Wi-Fi is going to go up and down, right? Yeah. I just, I had it outside and then my Wi-Fi, I went out of Wi-Fi range. Okay. So, um, but I don't, yeah, I don't want to promote them because I don't want people just to show up because it's a raffle. I want people to show up because you know, a raffle may happen or it may not happen. So I want it to be spontaneous and not just get a build. I tell you, well, that's up. one of the coolest things for me is I'm sitting there like, oh, what's happening? Oh, I can do this. You know. Yeah. For, anybody can do I it. I tune in a lot anyway. But anybody can do it. And it's fun. And it's fun. Yeah. And it and it drives like, I think I'm going to put the option out there to buy tickets through PayPal because at least you don't lose the 30% on PayPal. Okay. Right. Which that'll help kind of keep ticket tickets down and stuff, but like it's got to be like I can't lose money on it. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. I mean, if I do a hundred dollar set for a hundred tickets for a nice. bucket ticket, you're losing money. What you can so, do is to see how popular PayPal might be for you. You can say a whole draw PayPal only, and just see do you have enough of a pickup on PayPal that it's worth bringing it in. Yeah. I mean, I do I, PayPal. I know a lot of people don't, but the next time I do it, I'm just going to put up a pinned comment. Like, you can email like, e-transfer tickets, you can PayPal tickets, or you can donate to the channel. Right? Those three options. I think and, it's going to be pretty good. Look at him! Look at him! He's but, sitting there. I'm gonna get it! I'm gonna get it! Like, I I have two more Pisana speeders, and I already own the set, and I have it built, and I don't need more. Right, so for me to use those Pasana speeders as fun little giveaways and stuff, but I do have a sealed Titan mech and a built one, so I don't need a sealed one. Yeah, just remember, Jacob, I'm not going to always be around to bankroll you. Oh no, no, so no! You, if you're plotting, you better figure out how you can do this on your own. I got a bike recently, so uh, I can take a bike to the bank now. And oh, okay, actually, yeah. I need to. Oh well, no, I'll be, I'll bail you out of a spot. I'm just saying, like, oh well. You know, we don't have oh, no, Rick I Scott because he's buying eyebrows and kicking people off stream, so we know he's good for money. <laughs> Realistically, I'll probably do like one or two max raffles a month. Like max. Like maybe one around mid-month and one near the end of the month to kind of just do revenue bump ups for the channel. Sure. So that I meet you know, yeah, sure too. But no more than two a month, hands down. Like I said, I don't want to just overdrive it i want it to be that spontaneous fun is it going to happen this stream is it going to happen this stream right like that's the buzz i i really want to do with it so and jazz and i are kind of doing it together so you're going to see it a lot on his channel too i know um hive i think was debating earlier how to manage a transatlantic raffle right was yeah, that but correct? You don't, yeah but you don't I mean, like a, so buck hard. Is a, buck. a buck is a buck yeah, I don't, I don't care where. But you the are. shipping, the but. shipping is where he's going to get screwed. You're right. But I mean, I wouldn't want to ship to the UK right now. So I could get, I could like to get around that. You just have to play smart with the times that you do them, right? Yeah. Don't don't do a wrap at twelve o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday because you're going to get a lot of UK viewers. But if you do it at nine, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, <laughs> look at that, eh? Then See the gambler in him. Down. He's figured it out. You're going to get the Canadian West Coast. 
right? So more than likely, all the UK people are going to be sleeping. So there, and like, it, you just have to play that type of time zone game to uh, get the right kind of audience into the raffle. And then, and then you don't have to be the jerk that limits, it, right? Yeah. Like you're always going to have the Doc Samson mm-hmm. pop up from California in the middle of the night, but. Like, you can't get away from that. It's the game that you play. And again, you, you can help cover yourself with the amount of tickets that you you factor yeah. into it. And people just have to be, like, aware that, you know, I'm losing 30% here. I'm paying 30 bucks to ship it. Like, right there, that's 50 bucks. Why, why do, do I need to pay $50 to send you a Lego set just because I'm providing some fun for you? Like, let's just make it work for everybody. I don't, I don't even think most out. people are going to care or whatever. or whatever. As soon as you show that set and, you know, it's a $1, it's, you're saying it's a $1 buy-in. $1 buy-in, that's a chance. That's a chance. You could literally $1. buy a Lego set. You could win. Yeah. And that's how you market it. You put up the community post, buy a Lego set for a buck, come to this stream. Right? You can legit, yeah. Doc bought in with two bucks and he was ready to the last freaking name. I tell mm-hmm. you. So it, <laughs> it's so not much. far-fetched, yeah. and it's fun. It's fun. It was fun on our end, and it looked like fun on the other end. Yeah, and that's that's really what we're here for is to have some fun, and it's a win-win. You guys get set for cheaper, and I come out breaking even or making ten bucks. Like I don't need to make thousands of dollars doing this. I'm fine. <laughs> I think I, I I think if I were to do it, I think I'll wait till the next time I get like an, another major Walmart haul, or I clear a shelf or something, so that at least I know it didn't cost me much going in, and then that'd be something. Because I know a lot of people can't go to Walmart and find the deals, and I see it all the time. Oh, you guys got this and that, and even I can't hit the the stores like I used to. But it's like when I get them, I like to share them, but be kind of cool to give back in that way well i think it's fun it was yeah. a good time Corey's full of hot air as we can see this is a lot of work man. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for you <laughs> I mean, built machines for this yeah <laughs> bring on the robots Dude, you could use Lego for that, you know. Yeah, mock up a Lego balloon blower. Well, you get the Lego power <laughs> function stuff with with all the pumps and everything going. You could absolutely have it blow up a balloon I for you. I have an old Mars mission hand pump that shoots a missile, a foam missile. Oh, that's so cool. You put the foam missile, you smack the pump, and it shoots the yeah. missile. Oh, man. I've got a broken pump from some um it's a car set so you you build the pump and it's got also comes with a ramp and the idea is you whack the pump and it shoots the car out it's some old garage sale find or whatever it's actually worth a fair bit but i'm not going to try and fix it it's just not worth my trouble you guys are getting like exclusive footage of me right now because i never stream out of my basement look at that a lot of people here, probably don't know I, have, I have more house than just a basement <laughs> <laughs> only here at only lego counts <laughs> you put up that uh i got into the lego ambassador network and i was like roll <laughs> <laughs> like, i know i'm absolutely the last one because as soon as they see the back catalog of videos like Mega, Mega, McFarlane, McFarlane, Chinese, Chinese, Chinese. Like, <laughs> it's pretty much game over. I don't believe you have the right body criteria what they're looking for right now. <laughs> oh, no. Well, hey, okay, do tell. <laughs> tell me about that. Tell me about that. Well, I don't know if this is a rabbit hole you want to go down, but... <laughs> no, no, hey, I, 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 you know, because we see... You know what? If think... you look at all the newest, all the newest lands that we're seeing show up, and they're all they're all girls, and they're okay. all young now. Can I just make a prediction? Right. I mean, Emisaurus. who's on land now? All the new Emisaurus. Yeah. Emisaurus is not in land, but she will be in land within the next eight months. I can promise you. I think it'll be sooner. I think. Part of mini fig pals. Cool, she's on now, right? Yeah, she's part of land now, and she only yeah. she got into land when she had fifteen thousand subs. I know. Like See, it, which goes to show you, it's not just the numbers, right? Like, I know there's a couple of people out there that are the land that don't have a big presence on YouTube because YouTube isn't the only avenue to get into land, yeah. right? But 
Macaulay's Avenue. Well, before was, COVID, and YouTube not was fault. not the only thing because, you know, if you had a, sh a show convention presence, I know people who are laying who don't have YouTube presence to this day. And it's because they used to do all the show conventions and they were part of, you know, uh, various lugs in their areas and stuff. But they're influencers but, in the community. In the action yeah. community right? yeah. And it's like, it's not Holly's fault. I'm not knocking Holly for it. Good for her. If she can get into land, that's cool for her. It's just, oh, yeah. It just seems like they're kind of going for a certain demographic right now. And maybe they should for a while, you know, bring yeah. in more girls. Why not? More women. It can't hurt. No, it can't hurt. That's for sure. Yeah. And, you know, there'll still be the boys' clubs late at night at 9 and 10 and 11 and 12 p.m. <laughs> where we can talk freely. <laughs> well, like, it just goes to show that it boils down to somebody's opinion, right? It's not like you can hit a checklist and get into land. Yeah. Well, it's you like, look, at, look at Brick Attack. Is there yeah. anyone on the on planet that. who doesn't think Brick Attack should be on LAN already? Well, oh, yeah, definitely. Either based on content or what he does or anything. I mean, on. I think he checks a lot of boxes. I think he should absolutely be on LAN. Yeah, 100%. But again, it's somebody's opinion. That's what it boils down to. Yeah. It's not, not like you meet a certain criteria and you magically get into land. And his story is funny because, you know, the first time he tried and then he, he, you know, he washed out. And then, like, he had someone on the inside who was working with him. And then that guy gets Bye. fired. Oh, off to bed? Yeah. No, well, now you brought up Brick Attack and now he's going to watch Brick that video. Oh, <laughs> I'm such a bad influence. Yeah. I'm trying to send my kid to bed and Rick just just screwing me up. <laughs> <laughs> nice. My wife just built the tulips. Oh, they're so weird. I don't like the flowers, the leaves. No? Because they turn. They don't stay in place. Oh. Like, I'll show, I'll show that you though. a cheat for that later. I know a way to make that stop. They're the building Lego, stop. we will build decorations. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I go viral on TikTok right there. Yeah, I got to figure out what to do for my daughter's birthday this year. I don't know, man. It's hard when they're, you know, late teens. Oh, mine's turning six. Oh, that's such a great age. Everything is so cool. We and, they don't, and, they don't think, just... and they don't think you're a dweeb yet. No, but she wants, like, <laughs> reptiles and lizards and snakes. And... That's what she wants. <sighs> Ta-da. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, years ago when we would put up stuff for birthdays. And, you know, you don't take it all down. And you, you look at it a few months later like, damn, there's a piece a few of months. Well, whatever. A few weeks, a few months, whatever. And you look at it, like, there's still tape up there on that wall, or there's still that one little piece of confetti, or you know, tinsel from something, or Christmas, or whatever. It's Christmas lights. Oh, Christmas. Oh, you got Christmas lights up somewhere? I don't. Oh. People in my neighborhood do. It's like, come on. Guys. Did Jazz take down his lights? Didn't he say he still had lights or oh, up or I something? I don't know whether he took them down or it wasn't what I was looking at. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes were distracted. Well, this... well, what's Mama say? My daughter-in-law got the girls a jumping house for Easter. All I can say is, leave me their old hip carts. I tell you, I'm always so afraid when I see the kids in those things. And as a kid, I would have loved that. But now, as an adult, it's like, no, man, I don't want to. I mean, the kids are going to have fun no matter what, but. I am streaming yeah. on my phone, so I can't see the chat. So if I've ignored anything, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, I tell you, it's a good picture, and your connection's really good with your Wi-Fi in your place. So it's an iPhone 12 Pro. Yeah? So it's, it's the newer iPhone. That's really good. And actually, it's handling all your lighting pretty good, too. Yeah, it's that's one of the best things about the camera on this iPhone. So I've always been impressed with the iPhones. I, you know, ever since my iPhone 4, I've... Every you know each one I get, they've always impressed me. As long as you don't do small jumps, 
you know, I went from four to like five, whatever, and then to seven. And whatever I go to next is going to be amazing as a jump. But if you do the small incremental jumps, you never notice the difference in the quality. It's, I get a new phone every two years. It seems like That's I not go. bad. That seems like a good <laughs> jumping point. I went from a five to the 11. And it's wow. Like, wow. <laughs> I can't I get know. over how much bigger it was. Like, it was like twice the size. Yeah. That's a big jump. But the qual video quality is crazy compared but to But I'll the tell old. you, I do miss the five because that size was so sm it was a good size in the hand it was good for me with bike riding i could hang it up on my gear yeah and this is a, just a seven it's not even the big one and to me it's too big and well, i can only imagine when you get the max and this just, thing it's... like you try and put it in your pocket like it fills your pocket and it almost sticks out the pocket your well, jeans, yeah, you, like... you've got like a defender kind of case on it too so well it yeah it bigger. I, especially with everything i use at work i yeah i'm too paranoid yeah Oh no, I, I I recommend the defenders for sure. All those auto box yeah. cases, that's what they were designed for to that's be right. and sturdy. I'm in construction, man. I beat on phones and auto box seems to save the day. Auto box yeah. and protector and you're good to go. I've dropped that thing so many times that yeah. For me it's the speaker and the microphone because I get like sand and dirt and crap in there from putting them in my pockets. Yeah. That's like the the thing that went on my last phone, I didn't break the screen, but I speaker like uh your your speaker yeah i mean they're not too bad on the last two or three generations of iphone you could probably do the speaker replacement yourself for about 80 dollars with the parts and kit from amazon but then you're going to be sweating and are you going to break it because just getting into the phone is brutal yeah no. um you can easily destroy it popping the screen up so no as far as i'm concerned i got a phone and a backup camera yeah, because oh, the camera still works fine. iPhone X, which is a decent camera, it's just so like if I make a video of setting up these new shelves and moving a bunch of sets around and stuff, I'll just uh, set up that camera to get some different shots and not worry about. Oh. Now I'll tell you what I've noticed. See, my iPhone Seven, my main camera has one tiny bad pixel, oh. but I haven't seen it in my video or my photography. That I see it, and I thought, oh, maybe it's on the screen. No, it's not on the screen. It's the CMOS sensor. It's part of the camera. But I suspect that the phone is basically making that disappear through its intelligent, you know, camera pro programming. That that one tiny pixel is not ruining the whole photo or the whole video. Um, but I know it's there, and I've tested enough to know I can see it when I go zoom in right in. But in the resulting photos and videos, it's not there. So Apple Magic is making it go away. I don't know. Apple Maybe. Magic. <laughs> well, you, you explain how uh, damaged CMOS sensor one pixel. Because when I zoom in, and that's how I know it's when I zoom in, I see a slightly. You gotta remember with all my white setup, right? Um, a dark spot will show up. So I see a slightly dark spot, and if I zoom in, even if I move, it follows the camera. So I know, okay, it's in the camera. It's not because of something in my environment, and it's not on the lens. I clean the lens plenty. Now, it could be behind the lens, and it could be from – it could have been there for a long time. When two years ago, when I opened the phone to replace the battery in this, because I did my own battery replacement, it's very possible. I introduced something. But uh, – if I could get, if I could get another half year, I would be amazed. I don't know. Still, still yeah, good, iPhone though. 12 camera because it's got the triple cameras. Yeah. Um, its light exposure is crazy. Like I don't even need to turn lights on in the basement to get lit. Good off. lighting. Yeah. Like I almost have to turn lights off because it gets too like overexposed. Well, right now you're using your FaceTime camera, right? Yeah, this is the front-facing camera. And it's doing a really good job adjusting yeah. to your light as you're moving around. It's very reasonable for what you're doing. So that's, like and that's one, the FaceTime camera. There's one setting that I have to change because uh, because of the three cameras, it's also got like three-stage microphone. So yes. if it switches to the closer camera, it also tries to pick up audio that's further away from you rather than right on. So if oh. you're filming and you kind of do a zoom in, and you zoom past that first camera, the microphone uh -huh. will change the audio on you. 
But oh, you can, so you hear a change in the levels then? Yeah, like big, yeah. and it's not fixable because I saw it in my last haul video. I zoomed in on the slave one in the middle of a sentence, and it complete. And you can see it in my uh, last Lego store vlog. Every time I zoom in, the audio almost gets muffled because it's trying to pick up on audio so down. There. Is there a setting for you that you you can just lock the audio to one or the other? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You, you can lock that, and you can also lock. Because the thing that it does is when it zooms and switches cameras, loses focus until the new camera focuses real quick. Okay. So you can change it so that you can only manually tell it, like, oh, you're getting your threshold. Do you want to go past that type of thing? It's uh, like there's settings for everything, but you have to watch YouTube videos on how to get into it all. Yeah. Like it's That's... so complicated. Well, for me, anyway. <laughs> Welcome to Apple Time with Corey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, like, I don't, man, I was always a Samsung guy. Always. Well, we're all Apple guys right now because Ryan's rocking one. Now yeah. now Jacob's got one, begrudgingly. I got, a, I got a Mac, and the way they work together is unmatched. Like, yeah. The, the way you can throw files back and forth between your phone and your computer, and especially when you're editing and filming and you know, you miss the sections, grab your phone, film it real quick, airdrop it over your Mac, throw it in your editor, and it's right there. Like, it, it's so easy that... Not having a Mac, the way I switch, if I want to pull a video off of the computer right now and put it on the phone, what I use is um, VLC, and you can get that on the PC, you can get it on iOS, and then basically um, import into VLC, and you just set up the uh, phone to act as like a mini server. As long as it's on the same network as your computer, and it's inst it's like it's, it's so fast. It's as fast as your network is. It's not Apple, like uploading Apple. to. Well, no, it's not. It's it's Windows to Apple. Yeah, I know, but like Apple, using Apple VLC, one button and it's just bloop, gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying like VLC is great. Plus, you got some other power functions with VLC for other video editing stuff, but. Uh, because that's the one thing I don't have. I'm not going to buy a, an Apple PC or laptop anytime soon. I'd rather get put the money into a new Apple phone. Or someday maybe when my Apple Watch decides to slow down and die. By the way, this first-gen watch is still rocking. There's Battery. all the sets I've ever got my son. <laughs> oh, wow. He wants to know <laughs> how Bulk Lego is made. This is it. Like, There's the Ghost Rider car. This is that Ninjago Dragon. <laughs> oh, you should look at thrown in the junk bin. I think Jake. I got you beat in that that regard. Oh, he he get upstairs and look at Nathan's bin. Plays with it every day. Yeah, every single day. So like, I can't fault him for it. It's his stuff. If he wants to take it apart and build it into other stuff, it's his. Yeah, yeah. So I tell you, it broke my heart when I, my daughter stopped playing with the Lego. It's like no. <laughs> I'll oh, be right back. My camera's all spinning around. Oh, that's funny. But yeah, that broke my heart when she stopped playing with the stuff. And that's when I said, okay, well, you know, if you don't want it all over the room, break it down. Let's figure out if anything's missing. So now I got this file box full of sets. I got to get two pieces for like each set to fix them. All cataloged. I know exactly what I got to get. Sorry. Look at this. I got such a mess in here. Oh, yeah. So how's the mock coming here? I haven't done much on it. I built the gardens. I built Barracuda Bay. I've been just building sets. I, like, I haven't done much on it. Are you live? I'm on Richard's channel. Yeah. But, like, this is where I got the three. I got three shelves that look like this. I'm going to yeah. put them there, there, and there. And then put all these tall things on it. Okay, I'll send you a picture. All right. Nice. Like those two sets together look crazy. Yeah. And like I'm gonna take all the Marvel and Harry Potter crap off here and put them on the other shelves and make this all Star Wars all the way across. I, I tell you, you, you want to trigger me when people that. say that that Falcon is not the best set for Star Wars ever made. To me, it is. There's just, I think it's amazing. Well, we'll see after I build that one how it compares. You know the story behind that? Do I know the story of what? I'm sorry. This. Do you see that? No. Wait a second. 
Um, you're missing. What? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Dude, is it all like that or just a few pieces? That's blasphemy. <laughs> Well, you oh wait 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 yeah you told me you experimented a bit like before you okay, clued so in that there's no value in it. Me. There you go. Before you judge me. Okay. Yeah, yeah yeah no 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 I get it but it's like That's no nerves. I remember because you've showed us your little sets and stuff but so you bought how many big ones did you get? Just that one. Just that one. Yeah I didn't. Uh... So the problem with that one given the method you got the mag that one's the magnets right that's the 2002 one i think it's 2002 yeah right? and yeah. weren't the magnets horrible for that for the chinese set uh they the magnets themselves were good but the housing that they were in the plastic housing right they weren't good so the magnets was actually pull themselves out of the plastic out of it housing. yeah Right, like the connection to between the two weren't good but the magnets i know people right. who bought the chinese ones and then they bought lego ones and that was enough to get them through the worst problems you're going to have the chinese set you want to get people triggered sure <laughs> well no you're on all bricks count so, so you do people it, who you follow me they're not going to be so triggered well you do a video you start it with this oh, <laughs> then you show a little bit of you building it yeah and then you take this and you go throw it off your roof yeah <laughs> oh, well i better, think that's a smart better. way to do it that's a smart Good way to do it. Or i got a better idea you, you pretend you're about to chuck it off the roof, and then you get the microfighter version, then chuck that off no, the roof. No, no, I'm going <laughs> no, for no. I think Corey's got your beat. 100,000 monetized views, bud. That's what we're going for. So we're going to do this. We're going to show this. We're going to show some of it getting built, okay? And then we're going to, like, cut to this one, me walking up to the roof, hucking it, and as it leaves my hand, we're going to freeze frame. Yeah. Then we're going to cut to me showing both of them side by side built. Mm. And saying, <laughs> <"Ha -ha." laughs> That's evil. Yeah. And, and you have to, well, and hopefully this all coincides right around April 1st. Yeah, it could, could very well be. In a perfect world. Actually, I think I'm trying to, I'm going to try to aim to release it in December because that's when your CPM for the highest. There you go, Team oh, yeah. Look at that. Man's got Ooh. a plan. Fancy. As you notice, it's not even very dusty. I can't wait to have mine fully built. And it's parked just outside of Hogwarts. As it should be. Just in case. Where's the bat cave? It's under Hogwarts. <laughs> it's the uh, proverbial oh. crap. Hey, what's Ryan called? got here? Oh, yes. Classic blue. And I like, this is what I'm saying. Like, it's a mess in here, man. I got Barracuda Bay just sitting right there. Like, I got this rhino just chilling. Mm -hmm. I got stuff everywhere. Somehow I came up with these and didn't even. They were in the manual. You have all these all right. boxes behind you, and I just have all these sets. I have two boxes. That weird. That's box. weird, eh? Were you missing something? The nebula. Did you open these up? No, well, we're going to be like, you can a camera around my room. One of these. All of those are. Mm. Oh, very nice. So I'm not a Potter guy, but they're such great looking sets. You know? If you look in there, you got the room of requirement. Very nice. You know what you got to get your hands on? That'd be really cool, especially if you ever do a lot of reviews. Get yourself a wire cam. I'm not doing white. I'm not confused. This is like all Ninjago. Oh, you got somebody's attention here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like that's the funnest set I've ever built, man. Even for mm -hmm. it. There's the Titan Mac over there. This is. <laughs> I do like the Titan Mac. Oh. Oh. I think the phone. I think he accidentally powered it off, or or his battery went on him. Oh, fun! Now we're yeah. starting baby face for the rest of the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'll have you know that this face got me plenty of girls. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I was showing Team Oh, that's tempting. Yeah, he's drooling right now. Mm. What else? Yeah. I got oh, yes, I got I this. I got this Ninjago set too. You got it. Yeah, yeah, I got that one. Well, there we go. A little more light. That's good. Yeah. More light. Yep. 
Look at that one. Oh, I, know one. Yeah, that's I got another one of those dragons that my son destroyed somewhere. Like, I, it's just, like, there's a train. You see that back in there? I don't have any lights on. It's a bit dark there, yeah. Here, I'll turn the light on. Well, this is an unscheduled room tour, so it's not like you. Oh, there we go. I do like that light. Show me the light oh, again. Oh, yeah, that's, I've got that That's train. a nice, that's a nice panel. Where? Yeah. Oh, you got oh, you got the big hot box on it. Yeah. Yeah, they're. Uh, yep. Vito, yep. Vito, Vito. yep. Yep. Amazon special. But there's a Y wing. You and the, the only right, reason I don't have the lights you've got is just because I'm working in a, a more confined space, so I have to think. Yeah. You know, flat panel. See that. 2016. Yeah, I actually got that book for my birthday recently. Yeah, we got Vader. Oh, yeah. Nice. This, this is like a box of Technic I got at the flea market. Just sorted it all out. I got like one of those 1500 piece of things just as backup. There's a whole bunch of bulk. I tell you, Corey, you got to come to this end of Ontario when the shows start up again because you're going to love to see what's at the. Uh... Shows and conventions for you, oh, Corey. Like, yeah, for you stuff. It's amazing. Uh, are you doing a giveaway for that May Fourth promo? This for a raffle? I mean, this. Yeah, or are you just selling it straight up? No. Darn it! I got that off. Right. That's what I didn't have. <laughs> Why you don't that's, have that, Jacob? That's mine. I don't have it. I missed out on it, and I want it. That's mine. <laughs> Wait a second! You're not a big Star Wars guy. Why do you want it? I got. I, I get the odd uh, Star Wars set. You just spot stuff in the shelves. Hey, you gonna do a giveaway for that? <laughs> hey, both. <laughs> yeah. What? It doesn't hurt to ask. <laughs> you gotta put little white stickers on it. These are all the ones that T Mog's claiming. Is that why? Oh, this looks good. I guess. What's the one this year's a Tatooine? Yeah. Mini yeah. Deal? Just like this, but Tatooine. I have an extra one of these, T Mog. Mm, I don't know. Well, either you want them all or you don't want any. Like, if you're going to be a completionist, don't be a pretender. No, yeah. I only want 20th anniversary. Oh. Which, which one do you uh... need? Jacob? Uh, the, 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 yeah, that one. The last one? Mm hmm. It's pretty good ATAT -AT for such few pieces. Um, hey, Chantel. That one's 20 years. That one's just 2020. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Corey's, Corey's just giving us a room tour. You guys, any of you guys get that? Yeah, I, that's, no. I got that from Jazz. That's kind of how we connected. Oh, you're the one that bought that off of? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was the one I got it from. That's funny because he was like, he's like, I already sold my lightsaber. I'm like, oh, yeah. really? Well, these are all my, my promos. Well, like, Le you know the story, right? Lego paid for it. Yeah. Because when they uh, when I had ordered the um, whatever the big set was, what was that? The um, oh, why can't I remember what that big tan set was? The one you got, Mos Eisley. Yeah, yeah. So when I ordered that and it was in my cart and everything, Shazam, 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 and then I didn't get it, and it's like I called them up and gave them holy hell, and in the end I got over two hundred dollars in points. So I figured, That's how I you got know, this. I got this because they sent me the lightsaber, and it was like, it was kind Mang of shaved mangled in. and beat up, right? right yeah, here. yeah, yep. So I phoned them, and I was like, "Look, man, I was gonna keep that condition," and they're like, "We don't have any more," so they sent me that, and yeah. they gave me they gave me twenty thousand VIP points and this, or sorry, yeah. two thousand VIP, two thousand, yeah, twenty dollars. Yeah. But like this but yeah. is the very first, very first gift of purchase I ever got. But yeah, I was posting my pictures and everything of like, this is my screenshot of my points before, during, and after the two and a half hours of conversing with Lego online. Oh. And it's like, look at all the points I got just by bitching about this you know, and canceling that, right? the order. Oh, well, T-Mog wants that. Sorry? You want this? Oh. <laughs> is the price tag accurate? It's accurate to what I paid for it. To what he paid right? for it. Now what you're going to pay for it. <laughs> mm, I'm, hmm. there's, I think there's no tax on that either because I brought it at uh, 
Whatever that brick store is, just outside of Toronto on the way to Niagara Falls. What's it called? The uh, I have the brick bin in my head. It's not the brick bin. What's it called? Richard, you got to know what it is. Say that again? It's a like Lego store. It's the only other guy licensed to sell Lego in Ontario, and it's a store on the way to Niagara Falls outside of Toronto. Oh, in Grimsby. Um, yes, that's where it is. Jamie? Um, Jamie store? Brick Shack? Jamie, J- Brick Shack. Brick Shack. Yeah. yeah, that's where I got this. That's where I got that. It was the Brick Shack, and his prices are taxes included. Wait a second. How did you get it from the Brick Shack? I walked into the store. I gave him money, and he gave oh, me... Oh, you were in the area. Yeah, I went to Niagara Falls. Oh, Fall. okay. Uh, I also got this from the Brick Shack. Oh, so nice. It's custom tote. Hey, I actually wasn't aware that he was a licensed uh, Lego seller. Yeah, he's licensed. Wow. But, you know, it comes with that license, right? Like you have to buy X amount of dollars in Lego every yeah. month. That's so like when I was there, he just finished buying like 11 di- Diagon Alley. Yeah, him and me haven't talked much in years, but he's the guy I bought most of my early Lego Star Wars sets from. You got that? Oh, nice. Yeah. Corey, I am tempted by that Ray Brickheads though. Okay, well, I'm going <laughs> to tell you this, T-Mog. I have no intentions on opening it anytime soon, so. Just know that there, there's one here that we can always work something out. There you go. Okay. So Chantel knows the owner. Jamie, Even if we're not going to work it out. Here. So let's okay. do this while I'm on here. Let's uh, let's see what I got in these. <gasps> nice. I need, I have, I need, I have oh, live opening. I have seven of them. Oh, Brian. Oh, <laughs> 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 Okay, Ryan's playing. Let's make a deal. Oh, right, <laughs> the only one I have two of. I've got them all, but that one I had double. That was uh, the May the Fourth, so I I ordered online, and then that was the last time Nathan and I went to the store. So I bought the what was I'm the UCS to see that year? How handy! The Tantum. So I got one with the Tantum too. Well, there you go, Team Mark. Sorry, right, what? What's going on? Did you even not notice? He's got two of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I saw that. I'm just checking the, something quickly. Uh, 40333. Are you trying to see how much the brickhead's worth? Uh, I'm trying to see what both are worth. Chantel, oh, the, the promo? Chantel is shilling the for promo the, uh, and the brickheads. The I think the promo is going up for about 35 bucks. Hey, Everybody. Chantel, you want to come on, talk about whatever you got most recently? All right, so that's, I got the Ice Cream Man, which is one that I didn't have. So stupid that Brick Set doesn't put the Star Wars Brick Heads under the Star Wars tag as well for when I look at my wanted stuff. You can up. use that link if you want, Chantel. 401602. Oh, this is that alien. Oh, I don't have the. Oh, I have the alien. Okay, so this is a double. This is not going for much. <laughs> I got the alien. Max <laughs> price of thirty bucks. The promo is about thirty bucks. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's, uh, I'm also looking at Bricklink prices for the brickheads, and then I'm seeing a max price within the last last six months of twenty nine fifteen is a max price. Oh, I got that one too. I got some doubles, man. <laughs> what What are your doubles? I got two of her memories. I got. So are the tiles with the figures random or? Uh, two out of three are random, yeah. Two of that one. That's a pisser, I tell you. <laughs> That's what I was saying. And, and you have a chance of getting the exact same tiles in the uh, the cubes. Yeah. I had another one somewhere. Well, yeah, I think I'm glad step. I dodged a bullet with that. Oh, so convenient that I can't find anything on the Because I'm looking for the red panda and the cheerleader. Oh, the cheerleader? Yeah, I haven't pulled the trigger on someone who's willing to try a theory that they have. Nice. I like. They're all over here. There's might. There might even be someone. <laughs> this is a good question. <laughs> 
Jacob, um, did someone recently die in your family? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. You don't know no, how to no, answer no, that. No one knows how to get an wow. inheritance. <laughs> What's the thing on Monopoly? You won he, the chance card. You won second place or in the beauty pageant or whatever. Inheritance. <laughs> I don't know. In, in $50? I think my kids are lifting them. How many are there? 12? Yes. Yeah. Oh, here's the other one. Huh, I do. So I have seven. Seven out of the 12. So you're going to finish them or what? I, dude, it's just one of those things because I have a problem. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I walk in Walmart and I go by the Lego store or by the Lego section and I'm like, yeah, nothing, nothing. When nothing. I first saw them in Walmart, I grabbed, because they had just fresh, they put out the nice stand-up display, you know, the cardboard one in Walmart. And it's like, okay, I grabbed the six and I walked around with it. And I grabbed one of the cubes and I walked around with it. And by the time I was done looking at the other Lego, I ended up putting them back. I said, ah. Like, I just do this. I grab a couple and then walk up. Yeah. Will that pay? <laughs> Is there? Oh. Apparently, I've seen a couple of vlogs where people have already started ripping them open just to see what the figure is. Oh, in the store. Yep. Yep. Oh no, there's a lot of that. But you know what? That was honest. At least in my experience, that's the same. Anyway, with the poly bags, um, with the uh, blind, blind bags, bags, there's so much theft and re just stupidness. It's like, oh. Uh... I thought I had another double somewhere. But I guess not. My phone's at ten percent, so that's fine, Chantel. You don't have to put your camera on. But I'll be able to turn on. I assume won't be able. Hmm. Hello, hello, hello. Hey. Good day. Welcome, Chantel. Hi. Hi. Anything new? Mm, not really. I got some parts that I um, that a friend was dropping off for me, so that's exciting. So uh, parts for your uh, mock? Mo yeah, mocks and stuff. Nice. Yeah. And everyone who doesn't know, um, Chantel's got Chantel builds on YouTube, right? Yeah. Yeah. Check out her videos. See what she's working on. You got uh, another live stream coming soon where you get your guests on? Um, Yeah, probably this Friday. Coming Friday. Awesome. Yeah, nice. I typically do it Friday just because of how that works out. Yeah, it's a good night to do it. Crash and sleep Saturday morning. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We're getting a real treat here. We, we got an impromptu mm -hmm. tour of uh, Corey Mansion. Yeah, no, I don't have to do a video. Oh, my God. <laughs> you hit the power button again i'm convinced like oops. <laughs> well no because on the iphone especially i do it all the time when you're taking a, a screenshot or whatever power button and the, the thumb button and it's like oh oops <laughs> or yeah. press the home button first and it just goes to home and you're like no yeah it's it'd be really nice if they gave us a dedicated shutter button like they used to do on the old Android phones. You used to have a nice dedicated, some of the phones would have a nice dedicated shutter button. It was so handy. I remember the old Blackberries, some of them had uh, shutter buttons. Like, sweet. But nope, not Apple. So, uh, Ryan, since you got two of those, yeah. are you willing to sell one? <laughs> <laughs> Let the bartering begin. <laughs> I wouldn't say not, but not anytime soon. What's, what's it going for? <laughs> Old yeah, price price says minimum price of thirty one and a max price of sixty six. I'm I'm for sure you'd find thirty five to forty. We're looking at that. I right? suppose Brickman does Brickman doesn't have it. Brickman would probably charge sixty. Yeah. And it'd be I've, used. I've seen mm -hmm. on Lego Collectors Canada. It's it's been on there many times. Yeah, thirty five oh, to forty. I've been trying to avoid that because of how much stuff was on there. And I'm like, no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Oh, yeah. My phone died. So wait, oh, phone. That's that's when you guys are haggling about, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I thought I thought I had two of them handy too, but <laughs> now I'm yeah, looking. Man. Maybe not. Yeah, that was the only one I had two of. And then I've got one Ooh. Death Star and one uh, Endor. That's I it. knew I had another one. Well, they're not they're not hard to come mm. by. I mean, when they were available. Oh. Just because I do buy so much stuff. That one's too much. I have doubles of that one. Too. I have that one too. Well, that's, a, that's a wicked looking figure. Yeah. So I have two of them. <laughs> I have two of the uh, stupid ghost looking one and two of the a a one eyed alien. Oh, yeah, I felt really burned when I got my first two because I picked two, uh, them randomly from a fresh box on release day. I get home thinking that I get two different figs. I ended up getting two of the ghosts, and I'm like... <laughs> yeah, I ended up getting some of the ghosts, too, so I sent them to a friend. They're such nice figures. I just don't want to get caught playing the figure game again. Oh, you're well, gonna be uh, soon. If there was, yeah, well, no, because them? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna deal with my hookup, and I'm just gonna say, well, I've already done it. I said, give me a set. I've already prearranged, you know, <laughs> to uh, pick it up. So when they come in, he'll give me a call, and two days later, I'll drive out Chantel's way and go pick it up. If there was sixteen of them, I'd be more reluctant to buy two here and two there. But because there's only twelve. Yeah, I feel like I there's like, whatever you poke away at it, three or four months you have them all, and you maybe have a two sets. I don't know. So well, set. it's also handy you've got kids you can give the extras to. I think I don't know. I think these might be worth something later on. The figures or the tiles? Because I think I think the tiles people are going ape shit for these tiles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I might just throw them in a drawer and see. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the tiles that. are really cool. I just got a whole. Got uh, a he's heard it plenty of that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm trying very hard to be nice here. You didn't even pick up on it. I think guard. It's like earmuffs. <laughs> oh, God. I'm terrible with my children. Um, yeah. I'm very bad. It's just normal nowadays. <laughs> the cone of silence is back on. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so I got to change the thing into the boat. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to do the other setup for it. Yeah, I'm not doing it right now. It's it takes like, a while to convert it. It's right? a 30 or 40 page process. Oh, jeez. <laughs> like, you have to take every section off. And then take all this overgrown stuff off. There's a whole bunch of pieces you have to take off of here. Like, and then you have to use this whole bag of pieces to put it into the boat and then put these other sails on it. Oh my goodness. It's a problem. But then once, like, once you do it goes that, into the boat, it it'll alone. never see this state again. Yeah. Like that's that's where it's at. I mean, I don't trans I don't transform Voltron just because it's I mean, and that's an easy conversion. And it's like, no, I'm not going to switch them back and forth. It's like, no, it's too much trouble. No, I got to do it. But I don't know. It's probably going to sit here tomorrow while I build the Imperial shuttle. <laughs> Everyone's coming back on with their masks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have one. Did you, did you, oh. you don't have this rhino, do you, Timog? You said you no. Know. I passed on it because, like, I if, I'd only want that set for the Zane figure, and just paying like sixty bucks, I think it is, just for the Zane figure, not worth it. Yeah, yeah. you got that. Mason got that for Christmas. This piece right here is pretty cool. Oh yeah, is that one piece? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Like it's it's actually the only real kind of crappy thing is you can't bend this part of the leg like that's all okay. fixed you can only right. kind of like you can't even move these legs because they're put on uh with those two pins like they slide in oh. there so they're not articulating but you can make the head move mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks like hungry hungry hippos <laughs> <That's so cool. laughs> jacob that was a game we played 40 years ago Oh, I know. I played it at my uh, elementary oh, school. Oh, you still got it? Oh, okay. You see what they use for a tail? Oh, weird. 
It's like a and hook. we're looking at the business end. Awesome. That's right. <laughs> just, just in case. Oh my god! It. Look at that mask. That oh, is god. freaky. That would just creep me out. That is something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Were any children on your stream? Clearly not. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly not. All right, gentlemen. I'm going to let you uh, have outer. I got to get the last little bit of stuff done. My All phone's right. dead, so I Eat can't. Long balloons. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, well, we'll we'll check out uh, across the pond tomorrow. Yeah, two thirty. We're just going to stream for an hour because it's Easter. My wife oh, said, yeah. you're not streaming. And I said, ah, like, I, missed, <laughs> I missed two Sundays ago on Martin's channel. And it's on Martin's channel. So I want to try to do something. Yeah, I'm going to do something tomorrow. I don't know what. I got to build something. Yeah. So 2.30, middle of the afternoon, just a quick hour. Hey, how's it going? I'm going to build the Imperial Shuttle. And I think he's going to build just a Minecraft or a Mindstorm set. Nice. Oh, cool. Yeah, there's little robots or whatever. Oh, nice. Power functions, programming. I don't know. Stuff. I'll see what happens. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to poke away at the 2015 Imperial shuttle, though. Awesome. Get that together. Because the 2021 Thanks. one did nothing for me. Thanks for entertaining the troops, Corey. Oh, as always, I walk out of here with both my eyebrows held high. <laughs> <laughs> Liar! <laughs> you can't Liar! even tell. <laughs> I don't even look at it in the mirror. It's got like he the five o'clock shadow. Eyebrow and he shaves his eyebrow. It's yeah. five o'clock shadow eyebrow. It's not it's like uh, yeah. Yes, you know? no, I, have, I have thin eyebrows to begin with, so it wasn't really that big. Give me the other one. Me eyes. How much do you have for that one? We have to wait till the one grows back, and then we can take the other one. Hey. Okay. <laughs> so, like I said, the next thing is the beard. I'll dye my beard. Yeah, actually, a bunch of us should do that. Dye them pink and donate the. Uh, the oh, I'm gonna go I blue. Go my daughter literally can't. My daughter's a type one diabetic, right? So I'll go blue oh. and I'll I'll donate half the donation. It's 500 bucks. Like I'm not saying anybody has to do it, but if somebody ever does it, I'll donate it. I'll dye it blue until it grows out because I always keep it the same length, yeah. right? And I'll donate half the donation to Diabetes right. Canada. So that's pretty. That's very doable, right? And, you gotta get a few guys together. It's a it's a good cause. It could be it's fun. Absolutely a good. Cause, I'll dye yeah. my hair blue. It won't be like a donate and dye it now type thing because I don't just walk around with blue dye in my pocket. But, like, <laughs> I think well, as we get the, as we get the now, funds like, collected and we go, hey, we're only fifty bucks off. Yeah, so go get yourself <laughs> some uh, Miss Clairol. <laughs> Everybody knows by now I am a man of my word. So. Yeah. Like I got awesome. so many messages going. I can't believe you did that. I have so much more respect for you now because you actually did it. It's like, yeah. I, how could you expect me not to? Like, how could I be that guy that didn't do it? Yeah, that'd be hard to live down. <laughs> you, and it's, it's, such a, and it's such a simple, easy thing. And, you know, in a few weeks, like, no no one will notice it. Nobody so. notices now. Yeah, yeah and you yeah, keep down. notices now. Me, mine are so bushy that, yeah, I mean. Everybody's just gonna be looking at your chin. Don't worry about your eyes. Now, <laughs> but in six weeks, this all grows back too. So it's like, now's the time you want to shave an eyebrow because everybody's eyes will be down here. And I'm sitting there, so when I shaved it, and I, and I have fun when I shave it. I sit there and I do this, right, and then I shave here, so I end up with like the Klingon kind of thing going on. And oh, you don't I do go, the Hulk well, Hogan? Yeah, well, I do that every time I shave it. Just I, I have fun. It's like a whole ten minute thing. These like, ticker bars coming it. way down, or but I can't. Do you like um, the tone stark? I just can't leave it. Yeah. You know, I've walked out of the bathroom and I show my wife or show my daughter and then I go back in and finish it off. It's like, yeah, you I'll should have made a short. Of like, do the two face. You could do know. Wolverine, like just big pork chops coming down. <laughs> no, I used right? to. I used to uh, to hear. But... So like, every week, just do a different short on uh, shaving your facial hair into like, <laughs> like the Hulk Hogan. Those would do well, man. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I remember when Hogan favorite. used to do this bleach blonde and everything was black. NWO, NWO days. All, NWO all days. All yeah. NWO and yeah. the big WCW factory. Yeah. And his stories about dying it, like he would burn his eyes just from the bleach. And he, you know, you're only supposed to leave it on so long, but of course he always ended up doing double time with it. 
and it's like you burn your skin you burn your eyes you got to be really careful but well i said i'll send you my blue dye <laughs> you guys raised five hundred dollars i'll donate half of it to diabetes and i'll buy my hair blue i'll be proud to do it <laughs> yeah. so all right guys i'll talk to you later have fun yeah all right see you, Corey. Yeah. see you Corey. <laughs> okay so if there's four of us who are going to pool up together our money we need 125 dollars each for him to have blue hair though I would like to see that split more like eight or ten ways. You know, that'd yeah. be a little easier to choke on for die. Yeah. Even me, I'm looking at like I don't want to spend a hundred towards that. I sixty two for eight. 40, 50, You know, that's a lot easier to swallow. And it's for an awesome cause. Yeah. Yeah, if we can find uh, seven other people, sorry, no, um, six other people, we can just do 50 bucks per person. Because I would probably do, when my when it grows back out, I would probably do pink, I don't know, for 100 or two, just for breast cancer awareness or something. Just because it's a worthy cause. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Chantel. Oh. Well, no, her phone popped off, right? Oh, yeah, it, it died. It died. Mm -hmm. That's the only yeah. problem with the phones. Yeah, iPhone and can't have it charging. Jump off here, guys. And microphone same time. Yeah, right, right. Right. Good, Ryan. Yeah, I think we're gonna go and watch. We haven't watched Falcon Winter Soldier yet, so I think we'll go do that now. Yeah, watch the third one. I don't like yeah, it as much as really the first good. two, but it's it's a build, right? Yeah, we're building up to. I can things. see that it's yeah yeah as it wears on, it's gonna keep getting better. That's for sure. <laughs> The U.S. agent is the bad guy. He thinks, yeah. Oh. He's rude. See, I remember reading guess. U.S. agent for the first time as a kid. So it's like, for me, I'm trying not to look at this uh, MCU stuff with all the stuff I know from, you know, reading comics in the 80s and 90s. It's like, no, don't yeah. do that. Because it'll just ruin like the show for you. Yeah. Well, like the... Uh, the the black Captain America like I didn't I'd never seen any of that and someone was saying the com he's in the comics eh? and it's like, yeah. oh <laughs> Battlestar it's like ooh you know I remember yeah. hey, I, I've got those issues somewhere well my my mom does they're at her place but yeah well catch you later guys have a good night all right have a good see one. ya bye Chantel bye now there oh, was three. Check it. Check what Mama said here. Wow! I shaved mine off for seventeen hundred for children cancer. Mama shaved off her mustache for children's cancer for seventeen hundred bucks. <laughs> 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 no, I assume. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, if there was a cause worthy, that's definitely one. That's for sure. We used to do all kinds of um, stuff here in Toronto for um, you know hospital for sick kids and stuff because. You'll never find a better hospital. Amazing work they do down there. My hair. <laughs> we know, Mama. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, I thought I was going to build tonight, but I don't know. I got so much garbage on the. I shouldn't call it garbage. I'm sure some people would kill for some of this stuff, but... <laughs> I'm so far behind on doing things I want. Those lights just drive me crazy. I didn't even get to Home Depot today. They're technically still held up with just these included twist hooks because I figured I might as well use them. And they're screwed into the top of the bookcases. Actually, into the shelf I put on top of the bookcases. But, and they're kind of okay. They're sitting just fine. And if I don't do anything else, they're flexible enough. I could take them down, get behind them, put them back up easy. Right. The biggest thing today was doing the rewiring under the desk, turning off those two lights. But now, I mean, I don't know if this shows up on camera. Probably not. But anyway, I got these two here I got to get rid of. But they're on the best okay. arms. So I'm probably going to move. Actually, you can see this one. I got four of these still on. Oh, jeez. Yeah. But I don't... See, look, I can turn them off and it really doesn't really change my lighting all that much and my desk mm -hmm. is still pretty white even with the top-down camera 
And um, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Be fab. Uh oh. Well, hang on. Why is that not going through? There we go. Well, there's a link for you, BFAB, if you want it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But, yeah, I'm just playing with these lights and trying to decide what's going to work best. But, yeah, I don't actually need these two now for photography. I don't really need oh, nice. them for streaming either. Um, these I'm probably going to keep just because this one and this one, the one's over the camera, and this is just one floating in the air. Just because I still think it's have some light here because those two even though the bright light in the center is 6500k the one behind it clearly is not it's probably more like 4500k um, f for its white quality um, brightness um, I can't remember the other details on it but they're showing their age especially the dual bar all LEDs age and that's going to be a, something you'll discover if you're playing with your lights there Jacob and even Chantel with your yeah. streaming setup. I probably have to um, get that figured out more right now. I just have overhead lights, and what I do is I took off the plastic cover just so I can take off the bulbs when I need to because it's like a two. Yeah. Um, because it looks nice for having a bright room, but not so much for streaming. Yeah, and that's and then, you know, and that's something I struggle with too. Like what works for streaming is a little different for those um, still photography. You know, it's a matter of making things quick and easy. These lights here are nice because I can take that um, piece out. I keep the rubber bands on it so they don't fall out. But I could take that out and put in color filters if I want a red or blue or whatever. And that's something I might do is to have an illuminated effect behind me. But I don't have a lot of distance. It's mm, 28, 30 inches between the desk and here. But I can easily, you know, I'm a big guy and I can get in and out. But that's that was a decision I made because really... This space for the studio part is only 79 by 79 inches. That okay. was a very critical calculation when first I bought, when I was rejigging all this before, because I didn't have any of these bookcases a year and a half ago. And I just had all the pull drawers on this desk, because this desk is 36 inches deep by 65 wide, 66 wide, which is big. I mean, it's steel, solid steel. But... Um, you know, when I wanted to do the bookcase thing, it's like, okay, so I bought two, and it's like, okay, that was kind of neat and had it to the side. But then I figured, well, I want a proper L, have more stuff on. And it's like, then I wanted to move the desk away, and that was a big thing in my family. Like, if I'm going to do that, it changes everything because it, it moves it more into the living room a little because I got an L-shaped setup here. And it's like, well, what am I going to do? Because I used to have the green screen behind me the way with the old setup. And it's like, well, if I can work with just 79 inches, and I did the math, and it's like, it's actually not bad. I got lots of room. I can move in and out. Look, I'm all the way back. I'm not suffering here. I mean, I've seen people have some real <laughs> dumb setups where they can't even swivel their chair. And it's like, that's not the case here. But it's like, you take two billies here, two billies here, half with uh, Billy here. That's my L bolted them all around at the top so it's like truly one l shape this thing will never move never fall and that's like well where am i going to put all these lights and that was actually the hardest problem trying to figure out putting the shelves together was easy and figuring out that set up in the desk that was easy then it was lights but i aimed all the lights at me in the beginning it's like that's great now how do i do photography i want to shoot you know a certain way and it's like before i thought i would use this as a backdrop it turned out this was a horrible backdrop to do photography video is okay and it shows off stuff and that's nice horrible for photography because there's no um sense of depth so you can't get any kind of blur effect for distance zero maybe if i had better camera who knows but you can, i could do it artificially but that's just work that's time consuming you want to be able to do it fast right Mm -hmm. the worst thing you want to do is introduce more work if you're yeah. youtuber i mean you want to cl click click turn things on be ready to go if you guys start tweaking things it's it's just it adds to the nightmare of the hobby you don't want to spend all your time doing that but this is where i'm at now trying to just dial in my lighting even more it's like actually right now that i've turned these two lights off i like it even better 
because it's more natural tones and stuff. Because having a lot of light is great, but having too much can be a problem. I'm already a you know, pretty white guy. <laughs> Haven't gotten out in the sun yet, so it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I actually, right now, because the lighting's not great in this room, I tend to take all my like Lego set photos or mini fake or just cool photos outside because the okay. lighting's better out there. Natural light's great, you know. Just make sure you do, the one thing you, you're careful of if doing any photography outside, don't aim it at the sun. Fastest way to kill your cell phone or your digital camera is to aim it at that big bright light in the sky, even accidentally. Like you can ruin the CMOS sensor. So, far. And that's what I figure is happening with the one tiny spot, the one pixel. I mean, it's old. This is whatever, five years old or something. But now that I see the spot and I know it's there, it's bothering me so much. And I might take the phone apart. I might I might replace the camera. I can do it. I've done battery replacements on my iPhones for years, so it's not outside of you know the realm of what I can do. I wouldn't recommend most people do it. It's not that it's hard, but the risk to your perfectly good running phone to you know do something for a hundred bucks or eighty bucks or fifty bucks and then ruin your phone. Well, now you're out a thousand dollar phone. Ouch. BFAB says I almost didn't recognize you, Rick. No, no, BFAB, BFAB. This is Rick's clone, Brick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I tell you, well, he knows. I keep it until it bothers me. When, mm -hmm. when, I, when I do too much of this, twirling the mustache like I was doing last night on Tyler's stream, I just kept twirling it like the evil mad scientist. Like, hey, that's Rick when seen. It, Oh, That's when it gets. Hey, Brixine. Oh, I tell you, Brixine's camera. I tell you, his setup. It just looks so good. His camera. I'm not sure what he's got for equipment or lights. I know he said this on the stream. I think in the last week on somebody's stream where he spent so much time working out the logistics with the cameras and lights and stuff before. I think he put out his first video or something like that, and it's like. It makes a difference, a good first impression for sure. I mean, I, this is me after, you know, X number of years playing around and I got to this point. This is not how I started. And I'm not happy with like, for me, the software right now is my biggest headache using this StreamYard software. It's like, ah, but it's the easiest way to get people on. So where they don't cry and there's very few hiccups. But um, yeah, his setup is really slick. Tone, and of course his tones look perfect. I think they do anyway. I think it looks really good. It's a good presentation. <laughs> I do like the fact that BFAB barely recognized me. <laughs> and, and imagine and imagine when police pull me over and they look at my <laughs> license because at no time do I look at like my license anymore. Between the hair color and you know if I shave it or half shave it or whatever, none of it looks like my license. So a Canon M50 and a couple of cheap LED. And I know that's something that I know I mentioned it when he mentioned it on the particular stream that he was on was lights can make such a big difference. Even if you got an entry level camera or in my case, just cheap Logitech webcams, you know, you can, you know, if I'm holding my arm close to the light, you can see what's happening to the light. Mm -hmm. But under norm normal circumstances, not too bad, not too washed out. And look what happened when I turned some off. I mean, that's the thing. It's really easy to go overboard, too. But And you saw Corey's lights. You see those big panels he's got? Now, those ones, huge, right? Like this, by this, and I don't know, uh, 16 inches deep. They're great. Right. Good light. Your biggest problem, of course, is heat and how much space it takes up now. He's got it on the uh, pedestals, right? I can no longer have pedestals. My old setup, I could, and I used to. I used to have pedestals behind me. Um, some to illuminate me in such a way so I would be green screened good. Because if you're going to play with green screen, oh, you got to have some good light. But um, yeah, Corey setups are really slick for those lamps. But I had to go flat. Everything I'm going to do is flat. And I want to get bigger flat ones. But now that I this was cheap, these two on Amazon, the lamps were thirty bucks, and I think the uh, the power cables here. Which are basically right. have the, the 
have the 26, 27 socket, you know, standard light bulb socket. That was only like another 10 bucks. So that was like 40 ish dollars because that plus an, oh, I got to find the adapter. I bought an adapter for the back of the monitor. It's um, a 90 degree bend so that my HDMI cable can't get bent. Because one thing I noticed when I move the monitor from one side of the desk to the other on the big swing arm, if I put it all the way to one side, it bends in such a way that it pushes on the uh, cable. And you know how your HDMI cables come out of your monitor straight out usually, right? Yep. Uh, I didn't notice it was putting a lot of bad pressure. And that's the worst part of your monitor because the connector is only a five cent part. Guess what's going to fail on your $200 monitor? Your five cent part. So I ordered a $10 right angle adapter. So now it goes straight down. I just got to put it in. Hey, Brick Bunnies TV. Hey, Brick Scene, you want to come on and show us your setup? I can post it public here if you want. Yeah, right now I'm mostly just worried about like getting a mic and a new tripod so I can have different camera setups so that my phone's facing straight down over my build and I'll worry about the lighting after. Yeah. One of the first things I'd done mm -hmm. when I introduced a second uh, camera to the setup was I desperately wanted that top down. I didn't even care if I was on the screen, but I wanted that top down. And um, the way... Actually, I'll show you this. Hang on a second. So this was the coolest way I did this. Everyone has got a selfie stick. That's all it is, is a selfie stick holding one of my Logitechs overhead. And that wire, yeah, don't aim it right at the light. But <laughs> that wire is going here and then straight down the back. But that was a great solution to give me the bird's eye view when I want it. To give me that view there. But it's, you know, it doesn't take much. The cameras aren't expensive. You can get them for 50 bucks to 100 bucks. You don't have to have Logitech. So you can get, um, I've seen $30 Amazon webcams that do this. And I would love to upgrade to like Canon 50s or um, something better. I'm not there yet. I don't really need to put that investment in. But I would also like to use the camera for some of the photography. Good point point shooting. My daughter's got one I should just take off her hand. She doesn't use it. But it's so easy when you do, you know, photography on an iPhone because you're already halfway there to whatever you want to do digitally, right? Right. I mean, when you when you introduce a nice piece of hardware, then sometimes it's like, okay, now what are you going to do, right? Um, sometimes you add that new hardware, but now you've got a whole other level of stuff you got to do. Oh, dude, the Big Brother cam, yeah. I mean, and I, I wanted to, before I put the backboard back here, I was determined I was going to put one that, that I would call that one the Big Brother cam, and it would give you the three-quarter view of the whole desk from a distance. But then I decided, well, you know, that means four active cameras that I could switch between, but it's like, why would I have that view? Maybe I could open with that view. I don't know. Using other software, I would probably program that as a start and have it, you know, I'll do a, like a... A dissolve fade to another camera angle but not under stream yards i can't really do that not automated right. anyway so uh, i put that on a back burner but literally i would just run the wire over there to that display cabinet and put a little camera on there <laughs> hey in the summer i might put a camera outside because we get birds and stuff that i might have a bird cam going on some of my streams <laughs> oh no there's some neat stuff out here in toronto so okay yeah See if people can spot the actual blue jay flying by. There's not many of them anymore. I've seen a few blue jays here in Calgary. Really? You're lucky. Even an owl. Vir they are vir well, owls are one thing, but blue jays are practically extinct. Blue jays really? I see tons of them. Really? Over yeah, out here? Down here. In Toronto? No. Nope, it is gone. I mean, when I was in the 80s, every day I saw blue jays and cardinals once in a while. I don't see blue jays often now at all. It's tough. Yeah, I'll tell you, the overhead with the 922 
is the one camera that gives me the most grief that I, you know, whether I'm trying to color correct or brighten or, or set to contrast when I'm uh -huh. screwing around, especially with the Logitech settings, this top down view is the worst. And also the top down view on say this white desk, that's super shiny. There's a, there is a problem that you may not notice right now. And even if I full screen it, you may not notice right now. And yeah, I got some shadows and whatnot. The problem is, is that the pickup of a camera going straight at a surface like this without adding an angle to it. Because if you literally got it, um, what's the word, perpendicular, um, not shooting basically down and it's 90 degrees to the desk, you can see sometimes um, like a wave, a sine wave that will do this on the screen. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get it. Actually, this way, sorry. And it's very slow. And you won't see it live at 24 or 30 or 60 frames a second. But if you huh. speed up, as you know, I like to do time lapse and, and speed builds, right? With the footage. Um, sometimes you can see that effect and it's horrible. And I've been dealing with it on and off for years. And the solution with the 922s is you can tweak all the settings you want, but ultimately take the camera and what it, so instead of straight down, just tilt it a little. And doing that is usually enough. Depending on where your lights are coming, by the way, that's the other problem. What angle are your lights hitting your surface and your subject matter and where your camera's at? Because it's it's a neat little bit of mathematics. you got to figure out that perfect thing that whatever your camera's doing, you got to get that angle just slightly right. And then you won't see it, at least visually, unless you're doing some weird stuff like speeding up stock footage. And, but uh, those are headaches I've dealt with on and off over the years. I want to go on my balcony in the summer. I think I, I don't know if I want to do a stream because it's noisy. Toronto's noisy. Um, you're not hearing it right now unless you're hearing my daughter in her room because she's streaming too. We're a streaming okay. household. <laughs> she's doing Minecraft right now. Um, I don't know how many people she's got in there. I, I tell you the truth, she's doing better than daddy. But that's okay. It, what like, is... I sort of feel like streaming doesn't really matter how you show up as so long as you're happy. You know, for me, the whole thing with the streaming is just the social. I mean, this yeah. is, I mean, my best friend, I've seen him face to face twice, three times since a year ago in March. Right. And he's not an online guy, but we talk and stuff on and off. But it's like, yeah. this is my social thing. Talking with mm -hmm. you guys two, three times a week, streaming, building, talking about what I'm acquiring. what, I'm, And of course... Any stream I'm on sooner or later becomes just general discussion because we don't build forever. And like tonight, we didn't build at all. And that's all good. Yeah. But I'll probably crack open that Batmobile. I just got to, not tonight, I just got to get some other stuff done. I want to catch up. I keep promising right. to get some of my photography posted, and I haven't. Oh, yeah. I mean, as good as the 922s are, I mean, they're industry standard. I mean, most of us are using them. Not, definitely not the best. They definitely got some quirky flaws. Actually, here's something, Brickstein, um, you may not have ever noticed. I have a reproducible flaw on any one of these three cameras. I bought them all from first one to third one about a year apart. And it's, it's very consistent. If I take enough of the plastic bags from a Lego set or a Mega Block set or whatever, and if I scatter them on the desk, especially with the top down view, if I get enough of them with enough reflective, shiny surfaces bouncing light around, the camera that's top down will spaz out and it will, it will it'll create digital artifacts. And I thought, oh, it's a USB connection because they're all on extensions. Nope. Nope. And it's something that I can reasonably reproduce depending on the lights, how much plastic crap is on the desk, and how many reflective surfaces are coming back at the CMOS sensor on that camera. And sure enough, I can make it spaz out. And some of my old videos on the live streams, I didn't notice it because it would be intermittent. So it'd be a slight flicker. And people watching would probably just think, oh, it's the internet. We've all seen, you know, weird jaggedy stuff or stuttery images or whatever. So no one ever thinks twice about it. But I'm seeing it, and I'm seeing it on my end before it's going out on the internet. 
see on like StreamYards, it's doing all the back end stuff before I was doing it all on my software, right? Using OBS or XSplit or whatever. So I'm seeing in full quality 1080p or higher, depending on what I was trying to stream at and seeing like, ooh, I'm having real issues. And it's like, how do I fix it? I can't fix it live on stream. And it's like, oh, take them off the screen. All of a sudden it clears up like, ooh, put them back on screen. Yeah. Camry does not like a lot of, it, it, but that's common for a lot of cameras. But the fact that the Logitech isn't smart enough to deal with it, it's like, oh. And what's funny is cheaper cameras, most of them do far better with it. It's It almost seems like as you move up in the, the cost of the camera, the CMOS yep. sensors that give you good quality, they give you this garbage effect to, if you've got too many shiny surfaces. But it's understandable. No camera wants to look at any bright, shiny thing coming back at it. It's bad for the sensor. It's yeah. Just, it, it really, it spazzes out. The camera looks like it's choking. It's just so funny. And that was our Tech Corner Minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But that's my experience over years of playing with these things, right? I mean... I would love to get a nice microphone like Chantal wants to play with. But in my case, like, it's important for me to have the headphones. I'm isolating sound so I can focus on what I'm hearing because my hearing is bad. And as any kind of good mic, you know, God, there's so many great mics. And I, you don't have to spend a lot. You can spend 50 to 100 bucks and actually get a very reasonable mic. But then that's also something I'm going to have on my desk. Or am I going to have it on a big swing arm and have that messing around? For me, it's like if I have it on my head, I don't think about it too much other than I whack it sometimes by accident. But um, And I know I can get absolutely better audio if I get a better mic, but I'll probably rather invest in a better headset than maybe get a separate mic just because, well, the headset I use for other things too. Yeah, I got a mic from Amazon. I'm not sure which one it is, but when you get a mic, I don't recommend that one side. And I think it didn't work. Yeah, I've I've watched some people. His name there's this guy on YouTube, Harris Alpha Gaming. Uh, he's a Twitch guy, but his videos I watch on YouTube on cameras, on microphones, on everything you need to stream. If you check out Alpha Gaming and watch this guy, you know, nice looking blonde kid. Uh, I call him kid, young man. Um, I've learned so much just watching his stuff and listening to him and picking up stuff. But he's got some great advice on how to not go broke and have good results audio-wise, video-wise, hardware-wise. I mean, some people got a two or three PC setup for their streams, and that's a lot of money to spend. I mean, usually those are gamers who are streaming, but yeah, it's. I mean, you, you could go broke just trying to be on camera, but it's like, why? What, what's your end goal? I'd like to get a Yeti, though. I've thought about it, but I, I would like to test it, see, and that's the problem. I don't want to buy it and then return it. So have you seen the leak for the uh, new Speed Champion set? Mm, sort of. I, I didn't really we were talking about this much. earlier, but I don't know if I have or haven't now. I'll we'll probably find it. Just share the screen. Uh, I'm looking at Instagram and, uh, I don't know, one, one second, let me see if I can find the person who posted it. I can't quite remember who posted the picture or not. Albert Singh, Albert. yeah, and Think Media. Think Media's comparisons of cameras, incredible. Because they, they'll do like a video that's got like eight cameras and they'll show you the results and how it works for streaming, one after another after another from entry level to high end and and of course very reasonable with their assessments and comparisons and it's like there's nothing worse than seeing a guy say oh you got to have the highest can in this or the highest whatever that or or a red camera like who, who we can't afford i don't know anyone who can afford a red camera i mean those are movie quality level cameras but when you see think media talk and it's and it's pretty unbiased their views on it it's like I recommend that. So um, Alpha Gaming and Think Media, absolutely. Is that right to show the leak? Like, it won't get you in trouble, will it? Say that again? 
to show the leak from Instagram? Um, you know what? Let's put it on. What's it's a new bricks this week? Who's no one's going to watch this anyway later? If they weren't watching now, they're not going to watch Oops. it later. There we go. So that's your screenshot. Yep, that's the screen I'm sharing. Okay. Oh, yeah. And oh yes, oh that's nice, eh? Oh yeah. Hmm. It's still not one I want to get, but it's nice. Oh, it's just confirmation that uh, we're still getting speed champs, you know. So. Yeah, some of the speed champions cars are pretty cool, but I don't think that I'd probably not get that one. I want mm -hmm. the red Ferrari. I want the red Ferrari. <laughs> but I don't want to pay the one that Mama bucks. built. Why did she today? have the the red Ferrari? Uh, for speed champions, she built a red Ferrari today. I think I don't know. Oh, I want it, but I don't want to pay twenty four bucks. <sighs> Yeah, same way too, but I think I'm thinking like it'd be nice to have in my little corner city. I don't know. <laughs> Just wait until it goes on sale. That's what I'm waiting, hopefully. But okay. they sell it quick in my area. Oh. So my wife finished building the tulips. Let's see. What's with that? It's an extra part? Yeah, an extra V. The red one. Oh, here. Put it in this cup. So, oh, no, not that cup. Let's see. Do I have a cup here? There we go. Keep them apart. So there's another one. Nice. <laughs> I, just, I broke it. I broke it. Nice. Well, that's like sand yellow, I guess, right? So that's what bothers you, that they move around freely. Yeah. I got a couple of tricks for that. To me, that's a different green, though. That's interesting. Cool. When are you going to build a bouquet? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do pictures tomorrow. There you go. So now I, I got pressure on me. I got to do, do the pictures because she wants to build it. All right, I'm going to close her down. Sounds good. All right. Thanks for hanging around, Chantel. Appreciate it. You're welcome back. Oh, brick bunnies. Oh, look, Mama says the roses. Um, Don't tell me they're bad. We still got to buy them. <laughs> She's like, they're bad. Don't crush my dreams. Oh, she's sending me a photo, too. Okay, I want to see the picture. I don't know if I like this rubber cowl piece. It looks nice, but can I show yeah, I this to everyone? Watch me screw this. Oh, you know what? I know what's going to happen. I'm not going to do this right now. <laughs> but I tell you, it's really. Let's see. Where's the camera? It's not going to be a good shot, but oh, look how bright that is. But yeah. Yeah, I can barely see it. Yeah. I don't want to show off the uh, computer because I'm going to end up showing something I don't want to show. Because <laughs> last time, like, oops. But yeah. And you don't like I, I, mm. I mean, to me, the bouquet is still clearly the flower set to have. But I, I like all these simpler builds, too. Oh, yeah. They're very slow. I've also seen people like take the same thing and just switch up the colors. So then yeah. it's like you have a larger bouquet. Well, that's what's going to be cool is now people can be inspired to take these very simple techniques and come up with more. And that's what I'm, I want to see more of. I want to see uh, the creative people with the mock building mentality. It's like, yeah, you know, and that's like with every set, but the flowers I think are going to inspire a lot of people to make some nice stuff. You know, I want to, I want to see wedding bouquet looking stuff. I want to see, stuff that people i want to see stuff that might fool people some of this not so much but i want to see stuff that'll fool people at least at a distance that oh you know maybe it's not real but they were not going to realize it's lego I'm, I'm really inspired by it. i think it's great stuff i don't know if i'm going to mock anything towards it but uh mm -hmm. I, I even the box i'm just looking at it like that's a nice set indeed 
All right, let's close her up. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everyone, in the uh, chat. Brixine, we got to get you on next time. All right, everyone. Have a good one. Peace. Yes, See you too. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Oh, yeah, and tomorrow some of us will be streaming, I'm sure. I will try. Timog, are you streaming tomorrow? Uh, I, I know, know. Chantel says she's working. She's streaming next Friday. Yeah. Yeah. This Friday. Like, oh, yeah, this, this upcoming Fri Friday. This coming Friday on yeah. Chantel Builds. I don't know if I'm streaming tomorrow. I doubt it, though. But Well, it is Who Easter. Knows? Time for family, right? Mm hmm. All right. Well, peace, everyone. Bye. Nice. We're still going.